The route to world championship is a journey straight up from national champs. Without confidence, you're defeated before the heat. You can't take the heat, stop the bitching, and get the fridge out of the kitchen. With faith, we win from we begin. Work out weekdays with a straight up human race team and improve your personal best. Weekends for rest and cross country. For a drug free, crime free, corruption free environment, straight up, 9 to midday, Mondays to Fridays, indoors and outdoors, days and most nights, rich or poor, young or old. I'm your host, Robin Jerry Small, straight up. But if it's required, we'll be on the front lane. You can call me by my name, I am ready to roll. Once the rules remain the same, now the story's been sold. Uh, good morning, welcome to Straight Up for today and for this week and for this month because this is the first program for August, today the 3rd of August, Monday the 3rd of August. And we're in the middle of what is considered to be, you don't, you don't have this name but it is considered to be Freedom Week, Freedom Week with Emancipation Day. On the 1st of August, that was Saturday, and Independence Day on the 6th of August, that's Thursday coming. We're kind of in the middle of what is considered to be Freedom Week, you know. What should be, what should be, um, or what could be celebrated by a people as them um, achievement, achievement or regaining of freedom the achievement of freedom or the regaining of freedom because if you have not achieved freedom by liberation it would not have been the first that people free that people supposed to free because people were created free human beings was created free in the first place our life our life was recreated free in the first place as I was saying last week, <clears throat> the population of Jamaica, especially the African majority, the vast majority of their people, which is African, did not overthrow slavery. Did not overthrow slavery. It's not that they was worthless enough. They were fighting to overthrow slavery, but it was slavery was not overthrown by the African population. The abolition of slavery was a was an adjustment that Babylon did make. An adjustment that Babylon did make where legal slavery was abolished. Legal slavery by law <clears throat> was abolished, but slavery in fact, the two main <clears throat> characteristics of slavery, mental slavery and economic slavery was not abolished, only legal slavery. Slavery by law was abolished, but that was just an adjustment by Babylon to prolong slavery. You adjust slavery by, you prolong slavery by adjusting slavery from the legal basis that they had established it, and the legal basis, they had established laws on which them base them right to enslave. So them adjust it so that slavery could be prolonged. Them update it. Them update it. Them modernize it. Modernize slavery by taking away the law. And taking away the law and people supposed to be legally free now. Take away the law and take away the land. People now must work. Not because of chains, but because they are now being taxed and they are no, have no land and they are being taxed and the only way that them can stay free from the, from the tax man and the government is by working back on the, you know, the same slave plantation for wages. I do some metal let me issue you. Know. Issue some metal and you get them metal there when you work and you pay back them metal to the government and spend it back in their economy. Anyway. Slavery was, I was pointing out last week, slavery was not 
overthrown. Slavery was not overthrown by by us. Slavery for slavery to be overthrown by us after them changed this slavery from a legal slavery to economic slavery and mental slavery. We would have to continue that fight and overthrow the economic slavery and the mental slavery. And we, we still have that job doing and we're still in the process of doing it. We were fighting for the overthrow of slavery. And in the midst of the overthrow of slavery, them change the rule in the middle of the game. You know, playing a football match, them change the rule in the middle of the game. So we just change the fight. Some people believe that the change in the rules mean that them won the game and them win the Gold Cup. Imagine people believe that we win the Emancipation Cup and win the Slavery Cup. And the rule changed in the middle of the game. That was just half time. So we continue the fight against slavery, which is the economic and the mental or spiritual slavery. Now, because these things are not known and appreciated by most of the people, including the educated people, because these things are not known and acknowledged by most of the people, including the educated people, the most educated and the most honorable, the most educated and the most honorable, because are, these things are not known by them, they continue misleading the people. They continue misleading because they don't know better neither. The most honorable reading from speech don't even understand the history. And the most educated reading from speech don't even understand history. So the Andrew Wallace lists, um, for as in the as far as emancipation, they message him list Paul Bogle and George William Gordon as two of the people who fight and abolish slavery. Yes, people can be fighters from them as 12 and 14 years old. Not for we a fight this liberation fight from before we was 12 and 14 years old. William Gordon and Paul Bogle was 14 years old and 12 years old when slavery abolished. And them could have been fighters, but it's not them, them never liberate slavery and, and uh, them never liberate um, slavery. And furthermore, Holness and him speech writer got it wrong. They took up the fight after slavery. Paul Bogle and William Gordon took up the fight after legal slavery was abolished. They took up the fight against economic and mental slavery. That's the fight that Paul Bogle and William Gordon took up. The fight against the change in slavery to economic slavery and mental slavery. They took up that fight 30 years after the fight bust open when they took up that fight. The continuing fight against slavery. Andrew Holness don't know the difference between the switching from legal slavery to mental slavery, economic slavery. They don't know the difference. Portia Simpson Miller, they don't know the difference neither. That's why the two of them reading from speeches that people write and give them. And these people, the people claim they're them leaders. People claim that they are these people are their leaders. People claim that these people are their leaders. The most educated and the most honorable are assumed to know better. Them don't know, them don't know you from bullfoot. They don't know A from Bullfoot. Now, uh, my friend of mine told me over the weekend, you know, very amusing, but it was um, probably, probably her father was serious, and maybe there's a grain of truth in it, or a symbol of truth in it. Maybe there was a grain of truth or a symbol of truth in it. She said that um, her father told her when she was a young girl, has always been telling her from she was a young girl, that Jesus Christ, Jesus, the man Jesus, the youth Jesus, part of a generation that rise up to fight. There was a whole generation of them. A whole generation of them. So much so that the king in Herod, the Herod king, they try to wipe out all of the males under two years old when him find out that the youth them start born. Him try to wipe out all of the youth them under two years old. Because him now says the whole generation rising up. Although him knows there must be a one or two leader. Him knows there's a whole generation rising up. And Babylon knows there's not one and two away. Babylon knows there's a whole generation rising up. And many generations, just generation after generation rising up, determined for overthrow. Babylon rule over the world, over the, the rest of the world. Babylon must rule Babylon. Babylon must rule the whole world. Babylon rule Babylon. But there's generations after generations of us rising up. Not, not one person, not one leader, not two leaders. But um, Babylon didn't know that. All of them try to go after John the Baptist and try to go after him cousin Jesus afterward and try to go after some individual. Let them know there's a whole generation. But anyway, 
My friend tell me, sir, father, let's tell her from Shia Youth, say, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the youth, they rise up in the leadership of the, that generation. He was really crucified because he stole a donkey. He organized and stole a donkey. And that was a symbol of a um, kind of rebellion in a Babylon. Take what you want because they move away. So she said that her father always said that him send him disciple them and say, go, go in one lane, there's one donkey park. And just take it and if anybody tries to stop you, you make them know, say, the master have need of him. So him say, if you bring him come regardless of whose one it is, the master have need of it. And because of such a rebellious action, her father told her that's the main reason why Babylon did go hold Jesus and eventually crucify him. Well, that, that story is symbolic of the kind of freedom that Jesus did symbolize, the kind of freedom and reclaiming of rights that Jesus did, did, did symbolize. And them know said it wouldn't finish. It wouldn't finish till them kingdom overthrow. So when them said the actions like that and the actions of whipping the money chambers out of the temple and many other actions, them know said this thing not going to stop. You better stop him now. Stop him now. Because it's not going to stop. Him not going to stop. You have to try to stop him now. So maybe the story of a grain of truth in it and symbolize, um, well, you know, it's kind of amusing, but she said, her father always tell her, says, because of the seizure or the commandeering of that donkey. And you know, say, a donkey was, um, a donkey was a, an, a symbol of um, royal transport. That's one of the reasons why he did use it. It was a symbol of royal transport because he was symbolizing the coming forward of the kingdom. The coming forward of the kingdom, not of man, but the kingdom of the creator. The kingdom of the creator, the only true king, the only true ruler and leader. Only true ruler. Only true ruler is life, the creator. That's why Israel was one in them early time, like many other nations. One said, don't bother set up no king over on yourself. The only true king is the creator. Don't follow the other nation, they must set up no king over you. As long as you have your rules... And you have a set of people to judge the rules. To anybody break the rules. You have a set of people to examine the case and judge the rules. You don't need no king. You just need some rules. And you need some judges who can judge whether somebody has done against the rules or have not done against the rules. So you just need some rules and some rulers. Rule and mean, rule and mean boss, you know. Rule and supposed to mean boss and somebody um, lord over you. Rule are supposed to mean the people who maintain the rules. Rule are supposed to mean people who maintain rules, not people who bossing and lording over you. And if you take it for that, little by little, you get confused and start to set up a royalty over yourself. And eventually you start to worship the royalty. So the true, only true king, the only true royalty, the only true royalty is the creator it, it, himself, creator itself, creation itself, life itself. So, so that is it, the, um, the, the life and the work of the youth named Jesus or Jesus was to herald back in when what? The kingdom of creation itself, creation, the rulership of creation itself restore and mash back the rulership of human families over the rest of the people. Um, now the story, the story of the first humans being cast out of the ideal garden. Remember that story eh? of the first humans being thrown out of the ideal land space. The ideal garden you know, is an ideal land space, everything perfect. The garden, an ideal land space where people occupy, ideal place where people occupy. And the story of humans being, being cast out of that ideal land space because them never move right. In other words, you are put in an ideal space to live freely. You know, you have to work. All you have to do is just gather the food. Because the food, just the, the, the food is just there abundantly. All you have to do is gather it where you want it to eat. You don't, have, you don't even have to cultivate. And that was the state of the earth. That was the original state of the earth and creation. That's not no fear it yet. That How the earth did set up. You don't have to plant no food and work for make no food come. You just take food when you need food. Food was so abundant and land was so vast and free that you just take food when you want food. Just again, you just take food when you want food. Enough, yeah. Work and sweat. 
you might sweat in taking, picking the food or climbing the tree, but that was not no um, that was no drudgery or no work or no slavery. And then that story rise up about um, one family and being cast out of that garden because them do wrong. And after that now, <clears throat> them can only eat by the sweat of them, bro. But it's, when that story was created, you know, that was after when strong men, strong people start to claim all land for themselves. After strong people start to claim all land for themselves and all who weak must work for them. Who is weak now on the land? There's a vast amount of people weak. You know. The vast amount of people, not really weak, but the vast amount of people are unarmed. Unarmed and not extra strong. Those are ordinary people. But the few people who are armed and strong and control a whole heap of horse so that they can ride around and, um, and use them arms even more and faster than the people who is on foot and unarmed. The domination of the armed and the mounted. The mounted and the armed and the strong. Over the vast rest of the population who is weak. So that them control all land. Because those few who are strong and who are mounted and who are armed can maintain control over land. You are mounted, you can ride up and down over the land fast and make sure so nobody no set set land whole on the land. And you and who is have a rest you and the rest of you have a mount or a few thousand mounts, a few thousand horse or camel. You can ride up and down fast with your arms and with your strength. You will be able to control the land. And the rest of people don't own the land. They only live on the land and work for you. Where will live peasant mean? Peasant mean the people that we are attached to land. But not necessarily own the land. Human beings never start out as no peasant. Human beings start out where all human beings are in possession of the land. Together. All human beings in possession of all of the land. Together. That's the original state of humanity. All human beings in possession of the land. Collectively. All of the land belong to everybody, collectively. All of the water belong to everybody collectively. All of the resources belong to everyone collectively. But after the strong get mounted and get armed and stop other people from having arms and from having a mount, a horse or a camel, they control the vast rest of the population and the rich get richer. And the poor get poorer. And the people them get nougher. And the more you get nougher and no have no land, is the poorer you are, you're more subject to those who hold on upon land with arms and with mount and with strength. So then it, that is when the story of Genesis and all these stories, right? And after people start, after a certain amount, certain set of people control all the land, is when land ownership Settling at the hands of a few. That is when these stories right you now. Not when all human beings are there, all land together and human beings just move from place to place and gather food. It's after a while when small numbers of human beings control all the land and land ownership by a few and land slavery by most people become a rule and shortage of water and shortage of food, shortage of shelter become a rule. That's when these stories right. And that's when they that's when the concept of the you you only going to eat food by the sweat of your bro. Only going to eat food by the sweat of your bro and the restriction of land. Because the only thing you can make you have to eat food by the sweat of your bro is when land restricted, you know. If land is not restricted, you're not going to have to eat food by the sweat of your bro. You eat food by hunting and gathering. Because the land is there and food is there. And it's only when land is restricted that you're being fruitful and you multiplying going to become a problem. When land was unrestricted, you being fruitful and you multiplying and having children and many generations was not a problem. It's only when land restricted that become a problem. Because you're too much now. Your, your population get too much upon the little amount of land that you are being allowed to occupy. You're overpopulated and the land, can, so the land that you are allowed to be free and can't sustain you. You have to go work for the big land owner. Have to go work for the big land owner. You must. Have to go work for the big land owner. But it took time for these things to develop, you know. These things is human development and a creation and nature make things up. So. 
It's just a period of development. Is it is human? A human being organized them thing there. All them thing the privatization of water. Now imagine at a time when water gets shorter and shorter. That's the time when Babylon had planned to privatize water in Jamaica. Is there something going on right around the world now? You think the Prime Minister going to come make you know that? And you think Andrew Wallace and them people going to come make you know that? It's a privatization of water is something going on right around the world. And it's Babylon, it's, an, it's another stage of Babylon um, tightening the screw on the population, the world population. Privatize, turn all water into private property among a few people. Remember, so privatization means there's only a few going on it. Huh? That's what privatization means. You know? Public possession and privatization are two opposite things. Public possession means the resource belongs to all people and must be protected and all people have a share in it. Privatization means say, it belongs to a few people and the rest of the people have a slave to get some of it. You have to slave to get some of it. The privatization of water is something going on right around the world. Is one of the, and the IMF is all behind it too. The IMF and all of these different big business around the world, including the Jamaican private sector, they are behind. All of them is behind. You, you hear them start advocating the Jamaica PSOJ and Manufacturers Association head and the whole of them. I say yes, man, it's time to privatize. It's the whole of them together around the world, grouping up to change all of the rules and to take possession of all resources. Including water, all, all resources including water, privatization of water. You understand? So, that is what they're implementing. It's almost a thousand years now they them implement these things. It reminds me last night, late night, night about nearly 12 o'clock, I see a, a movie on one of the TV stations. Showing it just a few hundred years ago. Some things that still in process in Jamaica, and some things that still have, just have take place in, still in process in Africa. Was a move about um, the last stages of the white man in America. How the white man in America finally round up all of the so-called Red Indian them. The people who was on the land in America for hundreds of years and thousands of years, roaming freely. All of them own the land together. Some tribe might own, might control certain portion and some tribe control certain portion. But generally speaking, them own all of the land them own together. The whole family of them own the land together. And move from place to place. Share the water. Some of them might fight between tribe and tribe. Or either them fight or them stay far from one another. And the place almost unlimited. And I saw that movie last night where them back up, them finally back up the whole of the people, them whole of the Red Indian them and take with them land. Finally back up the whole of the Red Indian and take with them land. Take with them land under gunpoint, force them to go to church, and force them to stop hunt. And also, after that, in, just in the 1980, the Supreme Court of America make a ruling, say all of that was illegal. It should not have been done, but the Supreme Court refused to return the land back to Red Indian. Then said, I'm going to give them $500 million and said, now nah, give them back the land. Welcome back to the straight up. Um, I can't do it now, but I have some people for here that, you know, I'm going to meet over the weekend between, between the emancipation, the function that the Hutchinsons of Britain and Jamaica had out in, in St. Thomas there. Some people meet there, here, there and everywhere. And also at the tribute to the great same emancipation day and night. Tribute to the greats by King Omar Kingsley Goodison Production. It was held at the Chinese Benevolent Association. And whole of people meet here, there and everywhere. And um, also the... Um, 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 my name again, Oral Traces, um, comedy show last night there, Let Loose. I can't name out all them people yet, but I want to yell some of them. But time to come shortly in this program, we will be able to yell some of them and remember them and give thanks for them support. Thank you very much. We have some calls there. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning. Morning, sir. How are you doing? Yeah. Well... We supposed to be celebrating in manifestation and independence while the family of Marodin is demonstrating against the state in, in the hypocrisy, right? That Marodin got killed. They are demonstrating in Barney Street now. Yeah. We we see 
you must time after that. Other, other people got killed in this in in the in the custody of the state. Yeah. 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 Up to up to two weeks ago, someone somebody got killed in the same manner. Who that? Right? Who that? All right. All right. No call about. Uh, less than two weeks ago, man. Uh, last week. No call about. All right. Next one. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Sir, good morning, Mr. Small. Welcome, sir. Yes, sir. Um, you said quite a lot in your preamble this morning, sir. Yeah? You understand it? Um, some of it, sir. I'm still processing some of it. Um, one interesting point you made, though, when you referred to um, creation. No, it only does bring me back to the point where if there is a creation, then there has to be a creator. Yeah. And I heard you refer to um, the creator as the sea. Then I, no, and then and then after that, what did I say? And then you start saying um, she, and then you say it. You know, yes, yes. He, um, yes, he, she, and it. Yes. Yeah, and you refer to the stories of Genesis as being not a fairy tale, but you know, reality. I say it was those stories was created after the seizure of land by a few. It's not when land was free to all people that story was made. You know, it's made was made thousands of years later by which time land ownership was being dominated by a few. You never understand what that's what I was saying. Well, I, I would I would beg to differ, sir, because however, I mean, in order for one to, to know what took place when you wasn't around, it has to be told to you by those who were there, you know, so in order for you to reach the point where you would have come to a conclusion that this is how it, is, um, it all went down. Did you know that land ownership did not exist in the beginning of creation? Uh, yes, sir, land ownership did exist. Who was the first land owner? Um, Adam and Eve. And where there was the land of them own? Um, the Bible says that when God created them, sir, he gave them dominion over the earth. So they, as a matter of fact, they earned the, the entire earth was owned by them. Yes, yeah, so those two, it was two people, right? Yes, sir. So it wasn't one first? Um, if you notice what I said, you know, sir, when God created them... No, hold on. It wasn't one first. Just a simple question. Um, where are you going with that, sir? Was it one first? Uh, the man was created before the woman, yes, sir. Oh, so a man was created, mm -hmm. and then after that a woman was created out of him parts. Well, the Bible says, sir, he was, um, a rib was taken from the man. It's not him parts. It's not, it's not his parts. Yeah, I'm just saying, saying the same thing. Then what the way. long story for, if, if, if it's just his parts, is yes. But you're going through the, the whole, the long story. Okay. So sir. it was one first, right? Yes, sir. And one was created first, and that one owned the whole earth. Yes, sir. Ownership was given to that one, or occupation? Um, basically, it was, um, ownership in the sense of, um, he was, he was, he was, um, carrying out a duty for the creator. So therefore, he was working for the creator? Yes, man. So the creator owned the earth, and he is working for the creator? Yes, sir. Oh, so is the creator on the earth then? Yes, man. Oh, but you just said that um, you, a human being was on the earth from the beginning. No, man, but if the creator gives you authority over it. You're tongue-tied. No, man, not as an author. Yes, you are tongue-tied. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, you know, so basically, I mean, as you rightly say, and we can agree to disagree, that is, is the ultimate owner of everything, you know, and we are here as stewards of his, of his creation. Um, another point you made, sir, regarding um, this whole thing of um, slavery and independence. I just my friends all the time, you know, Jamaica is not an independent country. Hello? And that's all they tell you, friend? Yeah, man. And, and they think, why? And I'm saying, oh, look here, if you're, if you're an independent country, why the land that you have your house on is not generating an income? Why do you need to pay taxes on it? Are you still there, sir? I want to know if you are still there. Yes, sir, I'm still here. I'm, I, cause this is a dialogue, you know. I, yes, yes, yes. But you tell me that, what you say to your friend. What you know, yeah, you don't tell me what your friend say back, and you want me to play the part of your friend. Oh, not necessarily, sir, because I'm just hearing what your views are, because basically that's basically what you're saying, and you're saying we are not independent either. Oh. The population of Jamaica mm -hmm. did not overthrow slavery. And has not um, completely overthrown slavery. Has not completed the job of overcoming, overthrowing slavery. The, popul the population of Jamaica did not create a state and
and uh, did not create a state and a government in 1962 and is and is and, uh, and that is still undone so the population of jamaica is still not a proper nation so it's, and, it's, and that you and i can agree on all right, right. And, and i'll look at it a little further yeah and, uh, no, we've been we at it a little while we have been moved from the cane fields to the factories yes that's, yes, all, yes. that's all that's all that's all happened and as you write it says there's a remodernization of slavery a different form of slavery yes and and um the main job the main job and uh, mission of, of the, the Jesus Christ generation, the Jesus generation, was to redeem the shortcomings of human beings and to restore collective, um, collective ownership of, 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 of earth. Thank, then thank, show the human being that th thank you very much. No, I really have to go to another call. No problem, sir. Thank you very much for listening. Yeah, call again. Thank you. Okay. Morning. Welcome. Straight up. Next one. Some text message, please. Some text message, please. Yeah. Next one. I want to big up my brother and sister overseas and also to big up my brother in Jamaica and my mother and father. Listen to you every morning. They enjoy listening to you. I want to just big them up, Marcia and Vermin and Mackenzie from Red Ground in Olaba. Thank you and keep up the good work. Janet. From Red Ground, Olava. Thank you. Janet or Janelle. Next one. Give me some Stoli and the Turbine. Oh, Stanley and the Turbine. Give me some Stanley and the Turbine, the music group. I just want to have a great laugh. Great program, Patrick Sachs. Next one. Please play any great grace thriller for our Prime Minister under Portia Simpson or husband Errol Miller. My mentor from Jamalco Telephone Company, Patrick Sachs. Next one. Good morning. Thanks for the history about Paul Bogle and Sam Sharp that slavery abolished when they were young. No, not Sam Sharp. Paul Bogle and William Gordon. Sam Sharp was executed before the abolition of the slavery law. Sam Sharp was executed in 1832 and is two years later the slavery law was abolished. But Paul Bogle and William Gordon was 12 years old and 14 years old when that slavery was abolished. Maybe they were some like a young fighter. But it wasn't they who brought about the abolition of slavery. Because up to now, slavery has not been abolished. It has been, it has um, been, the law has been changed. There's now economic and mental slavery that enforced. But thank you very much, yeah? Next one, please. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning, Jerry. Welcome, ma'am. How are you doing, ma'am? I'm um, fine, thank you. Um, I really wanted to come to that benevolent thing, but um, <laughs> it was transport. <laughs> Which, one, which, which benevolent thing again? The, the Chinese Benevolent Center. Oh, yes, um, the tribute to the greats on yes, Saturday yes. night. Yeah. Um, Jerry, yeah. Um, this is one of the reasons why I asked you to pay that um, Hugh Mandel. Is it Hugh Mandel or Lastly Castell that thing, Mr. Government? Man? I can't remember, you know. I think it's Hugh Mandel. Yeah, Mandel, uh, yeah. Yeah, those two singers, they, they um, I think one of them was murdered, if both of them wasn't. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Hugh Mandel was murdered, yes. Yeah, it was singers like those that would have kept the vibe, the feeling, the t determination. But if you notice how they take time to get rid of everybody who is constructive, and uh, anyway, I won't go there. Um, this this um, slavery that Jamaica feel that they are independent of, yeah. they better think again, because the reason why they got rid of those um, before us was so that it can quiet the people. Yeah. If you see a man hang, you feel frightened, so you don't want to do anything yeah. in case you get hang or your family get hang. Yeah. So they use that Babylonian system of torturing people. And then it comes to the stage now, it, it was working without peer. Now it's worked till you're dead, and you still don't get no peer, and you pay all your taxes out your money when you don't, pay, you don't work and pay insurance already. Mm-hmm. Now, what I want to ask Jamaican people, do they really and truly believe, and, and this is not Jamaican people, these are the people who vote for these people who claim that they are in charge of a place that is so disrupted and so untidy and need to be cleansed inside and outside. Do they really think they have the right to do what they do and be where they be and take things in a legal form? You know, people send you a gift. And, and to come to your door and they confiscate it and look into it and see how much it costs. In other, in other words, people send you a gift from abroad yes. through, 
through the mail or through the ship. Through the here, here through, right. Hold on. Through the mail or through the shipping, whether it's air mail or sea mail or through the shipping, I mean through the air mail or through the shipping, and the government examine it and taxing you for a gift. After the person will send you already pay tax. Pay tax, pay insurance, pay to be delivered at your door. Yeah. Isn't that stealing? This is what I want to know. Because at the end of the day, it's not once it happens, right? But it's the cheek of it and the amount of money that they cost. They charge you, you know, and telling you they know how much it costs and taxing you. Before they go and find all the scammers and the thieves in their own business, in their own party, in their own company, who have been um, scamming people all this time and work, saying they're working, all these counselors and so-called people you don't see for 15, 20 years in your area, and now it's um, supposed to be election, they're sending um, things through your door about they will be at a certain school. Do they all really right. think all of us are stupid? All right, let's go for a break and soon come back. Morning, are you there, ma'am? Yes. I just want yes. to say this to you before we go because we're kind of out of time. Yeah. That um, un until we, until a, a, a sizable or a critical number of us um, are able to, to sensitize the younger generation that uh, full freedom is about, um, full freedom is about the right of all of the population to share in the land space until we, until we can um, sensitize our, our younger generation about that. We're just going to be arguing about different taxes and different economic tiers and different things and and um, different political parties. But oh. I, I'm going to be able to be confused by these people, Andrew Wallace and Portia Sims Miller, who read in other people's speeches. Just just one more thing, Jerry. Um, I heard Lisa Anna talking about um, they are Christians. I just want to tell them that if you're a follower of Christ, you do not steal, you do not have injustice, you do not cause um, pain and obstruction. No, you're taking her seriously. Why, why, why are you taking her but seriously? They, they really think that they no, are. No, no, no. You, you, you're, not, you're not serious, man. You, you don't know. You're not serious, man. <laughs> you, you're taking them seriously. and, and, you, I, and I just want them no, to No, we're out of time. We're out of time. It's no, we're out of time, ma'am. We're out of time. It's a waste of time to take them seriously about them are Christian. Waste of time. We're wasting our time, ma'am. But thank you very much, yeah, ma'am. Next one. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Next one. Give me some more text messages, please. After that, we're going to run the numbers. Morning. Next text message. Morning, Bongo. It looked like the water minister is just hoping for the rains and not using his brains. If if so, he should go. You're also taking him serious. One thing I think, um, Javon Francis, that great Jamaican runner, who did run that um, brilliant relay leg in the last, I think it was the last world championship, brought us from f fifth. Brought us from fifth to second. Donkey man. You better run like him here news. Because Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong might come near him supper. You better mind when him go to Beijing too, you know. Or they might slaughter, you know them a slaughter donkey. Donkey Kong a slaughter donkey. And I eat them all alive. But anyway, next one. Jerry, if Jesus took the donkey, he was a thief. Not to be admired for doing that deed. Next one. Mr. Small, what is the purpose of them killing Cecil the lion and his brother? Um... The purpose, I, tell, um, I was talking about it already, the fact to, as a conquest, these things are a symbol of rulership. That's why the white man still go all around the world, especially in Africa, go do hunting, and when they do hunting, they take pictures it and display it. It's a symbol of conquest and conquering you. The same thing like what yesterday, the engineer them out of China about doing the donkey with you. Because when, you see when they kill the donkey in public, with the whole little black people, they watch them marvel. Them do these things not only for niam the donkey flesh, but to frighten you and make you know, say, oh, you see, if we all and niam all donkey and kill him in public and thing, you know, say, we attack the whole country. I wonder if you know that. That was a demonstration of them for sure, you say. We are some terrible people, you know, and we have a rule this place here. Yeah. We're going to take away the whole island, too, not only Roaring River. I want to tell you, say, where them get the donkey, too? I wonder if I buy them, buy it, or if I capture them, capture it. Next one. 
And it's a barber and Zion overflows with too much gun in these last laps. Dawns, the world leaders cutting our day short. Mama Addis, Papa Ababa, awake and hear these. Awake and hear those. Rate your way, antenna. Yahweh. Okay, I'm going to go this. Rate your way, antenna. Yeah. Yahweh, the high king. You can write in a parable and quote. Next one. Um, good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning, morning, Jay. Hey, w welcome, sir. Yeah, you know. Oh, my, my, my send greetings to two Straight Up listeners. Yeah. Mr. Glenn and my wife, Mrs. Bev. Okay, great. Straight Up listener, Thank you. Then, Thank you very much. I have some for you, little more to. No, no. The, the, the gay pride march in Israel. Yeah. Orthodox Jews stab up six of them. Yes. Well, one dead. One dead, eh? Yeah. One of the gay? Yeah. One of the marcher? A six, yeah. A 16 year old girl. Yeah. Now, suppose somebody did ever even think that in their mind in a Jamaica, where you would have here? Think to do what? Even if you attack them, yeah. even if you stab them or not, just even... Yeah, that here's a jam... Fire, no gear, no for march boat, yeah, yeah, you would have here. Yeah, yeah, that here's a seat confirmed that Jamaica is the most homophobic country in the world. Thank you very much. But you know, hear that about Israel? No. And Israel did make the first law them against that, you know? Yeah. And them law still standing for them law? Yeah. That's why the Orthodox Jew, by the way, as we are talking about Jew, you know, from the other day, my friend make a, a, a distinction, you know, between Jew and Israeli. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, are two different things, you know? Yes. Yeah, because Jew, Jew, a long time thing was there, but these, these little Israeli were come out the place in the 1940 years. And them are the troublemakers, you know? Um, the man there who, who attacked them, eh, him just come out of prison for doing the same thing, you know? Yes, yes. Just done the five years, yeah. and, and I don't know, it not sound like nothing much ago. No, but it's because the Jewish lobby around the world yeah. is so powerful. Yeah. You know, I go hear the gay pride people, them, um, I try to attack all of the Jews, them, so, you know. If you are Jamaican, but yeah. Ju John Jimmy, oh, cannot... God. Yeah. Homophobia would have come down no. from out of heaven. No, but the, the Jewish um, international lobby and link up is a, is a prototype to show these minorities how to be strong. So, them kind of respect them one another poor. And talking that too, you know, say some Israeli settlers burned down a house and a little 18-month-old Palestinian youth died in the fire. Yes, I'm here. And them family, them get burned up. And them say revenge, yeah? Yeah, them, them write that upon the wall. And, you know, if it was Jamaica now, you'd hear how much hate, crime, and all manner of things. Yeah, it happened in Jamaica also, but these things happen in Jamaica also, but as I say, it is treated differently. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, Thanks. We come on. All right, let us get back to the telephone. Good, good morning. Greetings. Welcome, welcome. Bless it, Bongo Jerry, from my original listener. Yes, sir. Hartman from Washington. Bless it. Well, go on. Yeah, man. They, I, I see the vibes around. I see the revolution stepping up, you know. I respect the eye works. You know? Yes, sir. Yeah, man. I know, you know, we Jamaicans have to get ourselves together. Little by little, it's getting there, you know? Understanding. Understanding. Well, you know, we need... To get a reparation committee uh, to get. No, don't listen to your radio. Yeah. Don't listen to your radio. You're going, you're going yeah, on. respectful to do, yeah. Say, uh, say, we need to talk about re um, reconciliation for the people that we have to uh, reconcile yourself to some better cause, you know, and put away the differences. So that's my point this morning to the world, yes sir? Well, thank you very much. What's your name again? Short man this time. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, yes, yes. 
Bless you. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yeah. Long time. Next one, please. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hey, good morning again, Mr. Small. Morning, morning. Yes, sir. Just listening to Garnet, just now um, he made a comment regarding um, Jews and Israelis. Yeah. I just want to correct him on the fact that um, Israelis are the nation. Jews were just a derogatory name given to the, the, Isra the Israelites um, when they were under the, 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 um, the captivity of the, the Medes when King Xerxes and um, there was a man who wanted to destroy them and he called them Jews. So Jews is a derogatory name, as we call it a Jamaican a nickname. Yeah, so the, Jew so the Jews now, you see? Yes, sir. The Jews now, who are they? Okay, they are the same people, the Israelis, but as I say, they just like what they call it. No, 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 hold on. The Jews all around the world can't be the Israelis. So they the Jews, the, Jew the Jews now, mm -hmm. who are they? They are descendants of, 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 the, of the Israelites of, um, okay. of the Israelites of the Bible. And they are all over the world, right? Yeah, man. And it is still a derogatory name? Yeah, it's a nickname. It's a nickname. Then if it is a derogatory name, why do they call themselves it? Well, basically, I mean, you, you, I mean, it's a more easier, it's a more easier um, name. Just like some, you, you, you call, you call a Jamaican a yardie. I mean, it's, 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 it's not a, it's not, it's not a, um, it's not a, um, what do I say? No, it's not an, an honor to call a person a yardie. But I mean, it sounds good. So the, I mean, a Jamaican, you call a Jamaican yardie. Make no, make well, no. it is true. It is true that the word Negro mm -hmm. mean originally mean uh, an African who is the property of a next human being. Mm -hmm. And a lot of Africans use that name and accept that name even though originally and to me it's still derogatory. So you're right that some people still use names that originally was derogatory. Yeah, because Jacob, whose name was changed from Jacob to Israel, you know, he's the father of the, the, the 12, 12 sons. You know, and that's, that's how the name Israel, Israel came about. So, you know, the, the, the Israelis were always before. So Jews are just a nickname. And thank you very much for the time, man. All right, nice. Thank you very much. Okay, sir. All right, do I have any more text messages there? All right, run the numbers again, if you please. For straight up, we have a choice of numbers. 702. By the way, better use the time, um, yell some of them people, yeah. Um... Including one of my listeners, he's a, he's a detective inspector, Clarence Bailey. He is from, um, I think his, what name? Oh, tech, what name again? SeaTac. I think it's SeaTac is the name of his division. Detective inspector, Clarence Bailey. And, um, yeah, man, I'm calling him old timer, old timer. And Mr. and Mrs. Abbott, who we met at, um, street, at, at, at Tribute to the Great. Listeners of some senior citizen listeners of um, Straight Up, yeah? Also, Errol Gale, son of Johnny Gale. Why? Well, he was a umpire, no? I think Johnny Gale was a umpire. Errol Gale, he used to go to JC too, but he was a Byron Lee man, you know? he used to play guitar for Byron Lee too. And also, Mrs. Hall, the mother of Pam Hall. Pam Hall, that great singer who born in England. And her daughter also, Tafina Savone Wilson. Myrtle Hall is the mother of Pam Hall. And I saw the three generations of them there at the tribute to the greats. And who else again? Out at um, St. Thomas, I met Devon, Devon Bailey from Aberdeen and St. Thomas there. And also uh, Janet Ferran from Whitehall, St. Thomas, straight up listener. Yeah, man, thank you very much. Let's go for the 10 a.m. headline news, straight up. <music> the latest headlines, I'm Kayla Wright. The Mount Salem Police in St. James say the five-year-old twin brothers who were initially reported missing last week were not missing. Last Tuesday, the police issued a statement saying Tyreek Arthurs and T Talreek Arthurs were missing from their home in exchange Ocheria St. Anne since July 22. However, Detective Sergeant Michael Chisholm says on Friday it was discovered that the boys were with their grandmother in St. James. He says the case has been one of deception. However, he has not indicated whether the police will be pursuing any criminal investigation. Reports are that there was a feud between the parents and the mother to, to the children to grab their grandmother in Cornwall Courts in St. James.
Electoral Commission of Jamaica, ECJ, is proposing that legislative changes be made to facilitate the possibility of holding local government and parliamentary elections on the same day. Chairman of the ECJ, Dorothy Pine McCarthy, says the recommendation is not to make dual elections an obligation, but an option available to the government. She says the proposal is in no way intended to infringe on the Prime Minister's constitutional right to determine the date of elections in keeping with the legislation. A Syrian government warplane has crashed in a marketplace in the northwestern town of Aria, killing at least 23 people. The UK-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights activist group says the crash occurred amid bombing raids. Aria was one of the last government strongholds in Idlib when it was captured by Islamist rebels in May. The fall of Aria left most of Idlib province bordering Turkey in rebel hands. And those are the stories making the latest headlines. News next at 11 o'clock. Stay tuned. Straight up with Jerry Small continues. I'm Kayla Wright. Welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small, going down into the second hour of the program. By the way, and um, strike me that... Um, strike me that there has not been much discussion on this program. I think maybe another program, but... On this program, and why I mention it is because recently, uh, one and two, one and two are maybe more than one and two criticisms which I do not dismiss. Criticism which I do not dismiss about my um, my conduct in some kind of um, you know joke and um, not joke but um some kind of conversation especially with the lady callers of the program that some people say it is too it is too um skewed towards sexual um what you say no um sexual connotations and that kind of thing. Well connotation we don't want to use no big word. Referring to sex and the sexual interplay between human being man and woman, man and woman. And um, what people that think are too flirtatious, you know, around joke with women too much, and especially in some ways that's not appropriate for young listeners, you know, children, and not mature listeners to a daytime program like this. I'm not a, I do not dismiss these criticisms. I don't disregard these criticisms, but also willing to discuss them too. But not, not, we're not talking about me. Not really talking about me so much. What I'm saying is that. I noticed that um, there hasn't been much discussion. I don't remember it being mentioned. But certainly there hasn't been much discussion on this program about the situation and the kind of problem that Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby recent publicity refers to, you know, kind of problem of males or females, but usually mostly you hear more about males using either them age or them influence, or them money, or some other thing to to get them way in a, some sexual play with women. John's speech was written by an assistant. Even then, didn't they proofread before recording it? No, proofread mean that you have some kind of um. Proofread mean that you have some kind of advanced knowledge that would correct the proof. You know. But that's why I tell them that the most educated and the most honorable. They might read the speech that other people make. And if, when you, when you, when you, um, it just betrays. It betrays how much them not really fit for leading the people into freedom. They are leaders of the two political parties. Them not really, them not start lead people to hard freedom. Yet, they, them, they, they, see that them do not understand. Them do not understand the history. Even the simplest, simple little, simple little history that um, a primary school child should be able to to manage. Next one, please. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Yes, I walk on. King Celestia, Jarasta, Fire. Blessed morning, Aya. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, morning to all of people over the globe who are listening to Straight Up right now, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, give thanks and praise. Well, give, I and I give thanks and praise for the emancipation of Aya and I mind, you know? Yeah. My body no free, no, no, not really emancipated yet because the battle is still on, you know? 
Yeah. But as no one but yourself can free your mind. So you have to free your mind. Because when your mind is free, you're able to fight. You know, because you can't fight in a confusion or ignorance. You know. Yeah. So when your mind is free, you're able to fight and even to introduce it to others by saying, boy, this is what we should be. Yeah. So another one will join the fight and help to free their mind, you know? Yes, Mr. Small, you were involved in our reasoning this morning, but I'm not really fully satisfied still, so I don't know what's wrong with me. Which one? When you were talking about the Jews there. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. never did really feel too satisfied. I don't know if I but you have to get explain what? Get the no, no right. you would have to explain what about it. No, I couldn't understand. No, you said it was a nickname given to a set of people. No, I never really said it was a nickname. It's a caller, say. The caller said it was a nickname or a, a derogatory name. Oh. Uh, what I understand from what I read in the same Bible is still, this man called Jacob, who have made his, who have made headline two times at least. He made headline when time him and his mother make up and go rob him in brother birthright and his father. Yeah. And he ended up after runway. And then he made another headline news when time somewhere in the jungle he meet either a man or a woman who was a substance and wall on them them and they no, had such a, authority to press him and say boy they might change the name. A dream and that was a dream. Yeah. yeah. And you know what I realized in the Bible is that when you make certain headlines then it is recorded in a way that it's negative or positive. Yeah. Most of the headline that he made is a negative thing, you know, because when he got take with the break right on him, brother, that was negative, you know, but yet in the story follow. Yeah. Now he know when his name changed to Israel, he has 13 children. Yeah. Yeah, he has 13 children, even though most people are say, boy, at 12, him have not them not recognize the daughter, but him have a daughter named Dinah. Yeah. So of the 13 children, the seventh one named Judah, yeah. What's come to my thinking and my understanding now, I am saying the Jews are come from Judah. No, the, not not just Judah alone, but some of the, 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 the nation that um, call themselves the 12 tribes, the nation that, that develop mostly from the descendant and son them. Yeah. At a, that a certain time some of them broke away from, because them, them did establish a a rulership, them did establish it a kingship in amongst them one at the time. They, yeah. Them never used to have no king, you know. But afterward, them established a kingship. Right. Out of the, the tribe of, Jew, of Judah. Yeah. But after a while, some of them break away from that kingship, so them now follow the kingship of Judah again. And some did stay with Judah, not just the, Jews, not just the tribe of Judah, you know, some other tribe and some other people. Yeah, because they mix up down the line. So the people who stay with Judah, I think, derive the name Judah. And the rest who break away continue to call themselves Israel. Okay. Yeah, that's something to study and look up still. Because it is there, you know, because all of we exist until today, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man, I will power the all around the world. Yeah. So that's why we give thanks to him for the same Jews, because remember, you know, they were in captivity one at the time, you know. We are. All of them, all of them, they down in uh, Egypt there. Eh? Yes, but in Egypt, them never going to Egypt as no captive, you know. Them going, no, them, them going that they won't free just yes. because we're down there, the grass did green down that side there. Eh? Yes, but as you know, many times people migrate to somewhere and go there free. And then after a long time or after different circumstances, them get unfree. Like some Japanese was living in America from in the 1800s, you know, especially upon the west coast over California and them places they were near to Japan. And yeah. they was living there free for a good while, working in all kind of different ways and all the way. And when war broke out between America and Japan, 1941, I believe, the American them captured all the Japanese who live in America and put them in a camp. So you see, people can go in a place free. And then when certain conditions change, them become prisoners of war. Yeah, that at most time, yes. Yeah. But then did you... Know, I met a Japanese lady, you know. And I think she's some of the 1945 United States Japan bomb in a Japan, you know. 40, yes, 45, yeah. And she said His Majesty was the first head of state to come down there, come give them a helping, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man, she said, she learned of that history, man, Rastafari, she, she adore His Majesty, you know. Yeah. 
But all, right. all these things are history for us to really look at. Marcus Gavity has guided to the two course of life by your history, you know? Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Here, sir. Rastafari, man. Straight up, Aya. Thank you very much. Good morning. Yes, Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hello? Next one, please. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Jerry? Yes, welcome, sir. Wagwan. Fine, thank you. Yeah, man. I, 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 uh, one of that man was talking to you. Yeah. Uh, but, but, the, you hear about one to the, the, the MPP Central Kingston? Ah, uh, run into it? Mm. Yeah, no big thing. You up on him backside and break it? No, 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 that's not what I heard. What do you hear? I hear him drop on him shoulder and him, him wrist. Oh. And where, where, that where, that where, 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 no, where that you heard that him drop on him backside? Where you heard that? Eh? Where you heard that? I hear that he, 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 was, he was in his field. I don't ask you what you hear. I say, where did you hear it? I hear from somebody. Oh, oh people chat, chat, oh, chat, yeah. Oh, I hear that, I hear that he was working in his field and it dropped. Yeah. And, and, and his hand slipped out. Yeah, so his hand was his hand was behind him. I don't know where the hand was, but then, I hear that his hand slip out. Yeah, but if you, you, you hear that his hand slip out, and, and yet you're reporting that him drop on his backside. Then he could drop on his backside. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Well, this is not that's not the topic of the program here today. And I, but look here, now. Yeah. I, I hear that another man missed, missed hurting himself, another minister from Portia Simpson. No. The, the guy that worked with Philip Palwell. He what? said he was riding his bicycle, you know, oh. and, go, and do, going down a hill. And he, he, he actually said the Lord saved him from breaking his foot or something. Oh, yeah? Yes, yeah, so over the weekend, some serious thing was happening to Portia Simpson. Government minister, them, you know? Uh, there's many a slip between the cup and the lip. But that, you know that there, there, President Obama, foreign minister. Foreign Secretary Minister. You, you know, he was riding a bicycle and break his foot? No, I, I, I think, uh, I think, yes, yes, Kerry. Yeah, Kerry. Because mm. when, he, when he travel overseas, you know, you have to go with two, what was the thing where, where, where you, do them call him? Crutch. Crutch. Mm. And he, he, he have to imply somebody new enough you know, to help him to take those crutch and carry them and help him, you know. Somebody new? Yeah, 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 because when he travels, he travel by himself. So he have to imply somebody new. When he travel, he travel by himself? When he travel, he, by, he travel by himself, when he food never break. He not travel in a secret service? Yeah, he travel secret service, but secret service is not, is not, is not a person who assists him for, with, with, with the coach. It's somebody specially have to get, you know. Secret service is to watch and tell a man and go kill a man for draw the gun to kill the man, you know. Oh. And if you take one of the coach from him, that is not the security service. Mm. Like the other day, a man was saying that the district council at the police station is there to clean the bathroom. No, 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 we're not going to run remote. We're not going to run remote, but... Uh, Allow me to tell? Yes, yes, but we're not going to run remote, but... We don't run remote, but, but we don't yes. say what a man said the other day. Yeah, because I'm a good brother and detective inspector, Bailey. If him father was an old-time DC, I would not run remote, but I don't know. But I'd like me to tell. Yes, but you tell her well. <laughs> Not this time. Thank you very much. Yes, Take more. Yeah, thank you. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Yeah, morning, Uncle Jerry. Welcome, sir. How are you doing? All right, my dear man. Big shot for Alicia. All right, what are you going? All right, when I call off your sister to you, you see? Yeah. It's the donkey thing when I hear them, I say, the Chinese kids don't have country. No, your voice has dropped. Oh. Well, them say the donkey, the donkey, when them say the, the Chinese, them, the two Chinese kids don't have, don't have children. Don't have. Yeah. Two men can't lift up a donkey, Mr. Jerry. No, I saw the video, them never lift it. You heard them lift it? No, but if them even kill it, the whole village that I come down, you know, and say, well, no, can't kill my damn donkey. No, no, but, no, but it was at their place. They draw the donkey to their place. So no, it's not in a... two men can't draw a donkey, Mr. Small. Two men? Man... Yeah, if it's something, you know, they're not no, two men. No, man... the, but I saw them lead the donkey, come there, donkey, walk there on the one oh, foot. Okay, okay. I, I think them, they kill him for a spot and, and lift they, You don't know, so you have, you have some two strong men that can, can, can lift up a donkey. <laughs> you never know that? No, sir. Then, all right, Sam Samson, Samson, you see? Yeah. What him did slow the Philistine with? <laughs> Why? Now, Jerry, it's hard for... No, you're not talking about hard. I'm not talking about hard. I'm not talking about hard. I said, what did Samson use and slow the Philistine them? 
Why, why, Samson, them say Samson is a strong man, you know. No, you're not, you, 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 you know him strong. Yes. And that's what I come into him strength. But what did he use to slow the, to slay, slay the Philistines? Um, um, by him strength. No, sir, you're a jawbone of a jackass. Yeah, yeah. But, but, Mr. Samal, no matter where you want to take it, two Chinese cannot manage a donkey. Oh, yeah, that boy. I tell you that I saw it. I saw it on the okay. video. I saw the video. Well, I don't, well, I don't, well, me have to go find. Them draw him there with a rope, what do you mean? Okay. Draw him alive. And him walk, go where them want him to go and kill him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, next thing that I time him, That time him never kicked the bucket yet. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry about that. And, anyway, me have big up Wilson when me here on another station, or him um, on a clip, like advertisement in the program now. Yeah? Yeah, on, on 93 FM. On, uh, on 93. What, what him say? What words him say? Ah, uh, uh, me here, um... End up on a sport program, like advertisement, I don't know. When, sir? When, when the program I cut them, say, um, pick up Arville. Arville, you are the best. So, the Ingan, the guy can make a money now, over, over, over that side now. Oh. Yeah. And I big up the, 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 the straight up listener them this morning, like, much are whether the first, or El Shabich, and Vinny, and, and Pele and Kote Quente with them man they are the straight up listener. Yes sir. Also the straight up virgin them well yes, listen. Out of Ma no I tell you, out of Marvel. Yeah and Jamoni from oh. Alpha El Shabi to have him style. Yeah, man. Straight up listener them man they strong a listener. Yeah, may I big up some straight up listener out of Marvel. Take care, Mr. Sumar. Thank you very much, yes, sir. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hello, how are you there? Are you there? Hello? No, we have to do uh, something. A uh, 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 patient had U.S. to call. I was, um, just wanted to give thanks to all of those psychiatrists at, at U.S. hospital doing their work right now, you know? Ward 21? Ward 21. They helped me out a lot, you know? Yeah. Because, um, once I thought I wasn't going to come back. Yes. Trust me, I, I, I was... A death's death, call it that. Yes. And they really brought me back, you know? Well, it's great when you can, it's great when you can um, really give thanks that kind of way then. Yeah, man. So, a patient, this call Gregory Grant, man, just giving the thanks to yeah. all those all those staff working at Ward 21, man. Yeah, and you can remember none of them names? Yeah, man. Dr. Nelson, Dr. Aaron, Dr. 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 Campbell. Mr. Campbell, all these people, all a doc, a, 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 a sitting in, assist. sitting in, um, them assist. Ward, ward, a ward that they call Mr. Carroll, lost his life, you know? All yeah. of these people, I just want to give thanks to all these people. Do you remember none of the nurse's name? Nurse, um, Miss Campbell. Yeah. All of these people, man. That's great, that's great. Dr. Aaron, um, that's great. Take it easy. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Take it Doing easy. Well right now, I'm just taking it easy. Yeah. So my son, so I'm just taking it easy, you know? Yeah, man. No giving up. Yeah, man. Thank you very Good much. Time. Thank you very much. Cool. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hello, Mr. Small. Welcome, sir. Yeah. Are you talking about other money? Darkness. Yeah? Or dark. oh, you you oh, put on oh, your dark oh, voice. Oh. You put on the dark glasses for your voice, I know. You put on your dark glasses for my voice, mister. Yeah. So, I'm going to put this on the SBA, you know, but it's to acknowledge it, to be aware mm. of it, in right, itself. All right, you come back to now. Yes, yeah, so you, you want, want to know, Mr. You want to big up anybody at War 21? <laughs> That's why, I just want to tell you, if you seal up where you're saying, man, because you want me to know, the truth is a mindset, and yeah. a mind trip off a trap from your spiritual consciousness, yeah. and it may try, I like to see you make it get from a, a level, because when creation farm, it's it farm multiple things, you know, farm just man and woman alone, you know, farm man alone. So I'm going to get you to the level, bossy. Yeah. All right. Spring season starts inside the spiritual. Eternal love is the darkness. Take on life and within the living gene cells that balance the creation of every bright light, Mr. Small. That's how the spirit works. The spirit is a divine oneness of itself, Mr. Small. Come on, man. You see, the, the, the King James is just a basic instruction before leaving earth. The true Bible is within you. 
as though you accept the truth to be free, to be loved, to be aware of righteousness within oneself, Mr. Small. As time we go forward and liberate the spiritual consciousness towards life, you're talking about um, emancipate, you know, I'm not saying emancipate the self, but I'm just small. Because, you know, touch the spiritual for growing that subconsciousness towards righteousness. You're not going to be nothing. We're just going in our circle like Sister Merkel. Hello, Mr. Yeah. Small. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, yes, sir. And, and yeah, read the paper. Yeah, read the paper. Yes, sir. And do one. read paper. I read speech and get no trouble. And, 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 so, and push. Yeah, and and push. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, crack up, though. Well, a good thing that better than being cracked. Let's go for a break, straight. Yes, good morning and welcome back to Straight Up. Hello? Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, good morning. Morning, morning. Judah is the fourth son of Jacob, you know. Yeah. That is the seventh son of Jacob. And Benjamin and Judah, they make the Jews. Yeah. They create the Jews. Yeah. So we use those two tribes. Make the Jews. The other tribe will come into captivity. The Assyrians capture them, you know, and lead them into captivity. The Assyrians? Yes. They capture the, the, the other ten tribes, I'm telling you. So those tribes, we don't know what, what happened to them. But the two tribes, Judah and Benjamin, makes the Jews. Yeah. And that's where Jesus Christ came from, the Jews. Mm hmm all right. Then the Samaritan are who now? Samaritan is, I think they're is, is right, you know, but they mix up with the, the Assyrian, because the Assyrian is carry, carry people to live in Israel. Yeah. That's why the Jews are of the Samaritan. Yeah. And the eat from the margin quarter. Yes, from the... I know. But Samaritan was... They worship the worship in temperature, you know. They worship. They worship in the woman's other way said that we worship at Jerusalem, the place that meant us to worship. Yeah. And Jesus said unto her, neither was when you smoked it, I just were when. Worship the Father. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, yeah? All right. Thank you. Next one, please. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello? Good morning. Morning, ma'am. How are you doing? All is well. Mr. Mr. Small, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. I just want people to understand that. It is deep in their mind. The man that talked about uh, the donkey and, and Jesus, um, he better be careful that uh, his life is alone. Uh, and and, and God, it is Jesus that loaned him the life. Our life is alone. They better be careful to take it away. Um, well, hold on, 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 please, hold on. The man must be careful because him talk that. Well, the word of that you speak, it, it is a, um, it can t kill you and it can um, build you up. What word Words did he speak? Hold on, what, hold on, hold on. What word did he speak? You know and I know. What word did he speak? He speak about the donkey and Jesus. Yeah. What did he say about them? You know, you, didn't, you, didn't you hear what he said? Yes, just tell me what he said about him, because you are warning about how he can't get killed for that. Then of course, no, no, I don't say he, he's going to, but what I'm saying, Jesus, the one that he talk about, that um, take the donkey, is he loaned him breath. He no, what, breath. what word did the man he speak? For our sins. What word did the man speak that he should get penalized for? I'm not going to repeat the word. Okay. No, well, you, you, if you're not, no, no, you, you, you're talking to you about the no, spiritual. No, you, you hear. Hold on, hold on. Like that spiritual no. and darkness is, oh. is, is different. Hold on now. You come in here to use this program to give out warning and all kind of warning. Then well, of if, course, no, it's a, it's what, a, it's a what, form of that. What, would you allow me? You come here to use this program to give out warning and all kind of warning and all kind of thing. And you do not want to explain what word the man said that was bad. You have to explain what word that the man said that was bad. Why do you want me to um to talk, say the word? I will not what? repeat the word because it's not true. No, what word did the man say that is bad that he must... You're not going to get it out of me, so you can forget it. All right, thank I'm you. I'm not going to repeat right. the word. All right, thank you, ma'am. Them just want to use the program, F.A., eh, to, um, to show how much their church is the only one, their interpretation is the only one, this and that is the only one. Every religion, almost every religion in the world, want to come with the same thing. They are the only repository of knowledge. Nothing else goes, and if you say anything against what them say, 
You're in danger and all kind of thing. And you have the hellfire. Next call. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Yeah, Bongo, man. Welcome, sir. How are you doing? Yeah, man. Civilized, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the police man killing, we were going to Denham Town. Yeah. Me, me hear them, them say, them have three, three man, um, what do you call them? Three man under suspicion. Yeah. Yeah. And them call them name and tell them to the report. And them take in one, right? Well, me not hear that one. Me then the, that the man with them beat and kill and him lady, right? No, no, that, no, that, that are the, um... Oh, that are for the lady? For the lady. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um, what we want to find out, if the, the man, the, the people them say, a police kill, kill the police. Some people say so. Yeah, now what if, 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 um, if them, if them, if I dress the man, them just like police. If if the the man them who kill the police dress like police. Yes. Okay. Because oh the 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 the, the, the call for three other man and them say police kill the man the the, the, the police. No, it's different people saying different things, you know. Yes, but a whole lot of people that I was a whole lot of people who are saying it. Though. Now, one person so far I heard it being claimed that one eyewitness saw things from before the police get shot. It is said that that eyewitness say that the police come out, either come out of the yard or out of MKR and see the three man lean up and suspects of them heavy and went to them and discover one of them have some bulge on them clothes. Not true? No, when me never hear that. Uh, uh, and then I heard is after him discovered that and trying to either ha hold them at gunpoint and so on, either one of them, one, either the same one where I have the bulge on them close shot him or one of the other one shot him. Then after that, now me hear say, the person who seems the eyewitness said the one who did have the bulge on them close did also have on a mask. But I mean, I hear about the master after the shooting, you know. You never hear him say three men lean up and one of the men of our mask, you know. It's after the shooting, you now you start hearing about the man of our mask. How come them never say from the beginning that three men lean up and one did have on a mask? Yeah, that me wonder too. Uh, and then them say police. When they come out, they say police. They tell them say Boy, police, they you kill you, they kill you, they squad you. No, no, that's a different story. You're, you're piecing up the different witness them story together. Don't piece them up together. No, I mean, not piece them up. What I am saying, yeah. what, what, what you are saying about the three men, yeah. is, 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 I, I didn't hear that story. Yeah, it come out on the front page of one of them paper one day. Yeah. I think it was a Sunday, last week Sunday, not, yes, not yesterday Sunday. Well, well you know... I, I, I really want to hear oh, that's, that, that, that. Yeah, everybody would like to hear, and in time, we'll, I think we'll hear more. But if we'll hear the truth, no, that's a different question. But I think we'll hear more and more. One, one more thing. Yeah. Um, you heard that a lot of, um, actually, I get, I get a lot of medals in the big games were, were suspected of taking drugs. Which big game that? Like the Olympics and the World Champions. You mean like in 2011 and 12? Two, 2000, they say from 2001 to 2000. Ah, and that news just coming out now? Yeah, oh, it is a leak. Okay, okay. No, never hear. We could hear somewhere, right? Yeah. Th thank you very much, yeah? Okay. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up, hello? Next one. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Mr. Small. Welcome, welcome. Calling back again, sir. Um, <laughs> Even though it's kind of it's kind of trivial, I guess I guess it was the whole thing was intended for for fun, you know, regarding Jesus and the donkey. But um, on the more serious aspect of it, one has to understand that Jesus rode into Jerusalem and the donkey was just a fulfillment of a prophecy that was made from in the Old Testament. Yeah. And um, Jesus could have ridden in Jerusalem on a horse, you know, but the same thing that the occupying force at the time, which was the Romans. Yeah. I mean, that was their means of um, transportation. Yeah. So it's Jesus riding in. On a donkey, yeah. though he knew who he was, he was a king. But yet still, he chose a humble, a humble way to enter into into Jerusalem. Yeah. So basically, that's what it's all about. And Jesus could not be charged for stealing a donkey, because if one understands that he was the creator of all things, so you know he could not. You you, you can't steal what is yours. What year was he born? 
Um, Jesus was born in what? Um, what uh, I don't I don't know exactly the year when he was born, but I know he died at age thirty-three. And and the, and the creator died. Yeah, um, that's another but that's another discussion. No, 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 no. Keep it simple. And the creator died. Yes, sir. Oh, so he was born at a certain time, and he died at a certain time, but he is the creator of all things. Yes, man, he was, um, if you go back to the word, it says he was in the world, the word was made. The word, the word, what do you mean? Uh, you mean some words written in a book? Yeah, by the apostle John. I'm asking if you mean some words, I'm asking if you mean some words written in a book. I'm talking about the Bible, sir. Yes, and because some words was written in a book means that a man who was born on a certain date and died on the next date is the creator of the world. Yeah, but remember that he was he was he was eternally alive before he came to earth, you know. I must remember. You remember. You remember because you was there. I know because he told me. He told us so. When did he tell you so? In the same book that you referred. No, but it's John book. It's not Jesus book. It's not Jesus but, writing. But John he's writing. writing from a revelation, you know, sir. Yes, yes. Something that was revealed to him. Yes. You think you could swallow a donkey? Um, in in small bits. Yes. Okay. Sir. Well. Okay. Well. There, um, there's a donkey Kong. Down up or down on the highway there. I, I think the menu have on, menu have on donkey tail like we have ox tail. Donkey tail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can order donkey jack. Mm -hmm. you, you eat donkey jack? Um, if there's a part of the donkey that is named donkey jack and can be eaten. No, jack. No. Many of mammals have jack. Okay, okay. The male like have car, jack. You mean like a car jack? No, car have jack. No, 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 car no have jack, car no have jack. People make jack fit take off car tire, but that's not part of the, the car mechanism itself. Okay, but the, okay. but uh, male, the male mama, them have jack. Oh, okay, okay. And, uh, and, uh, like when the tire gets punched, they use it to take off the tire. And, 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 and you know beef balls? Beef ball, um, is there another name for it? You never know eat beef balls yet. You never know eat spaghetti and meatballs You never know eat spaghetti and meatballs yet. Oh, spaghetti and meatballs, yeah man, yeah man. Yeah, well, man. Don't, you have donkey balls also. Oh, okay. So all those donkey, things, balls, I mean, all those balls, things, no, the jack, no, the jack, the, the jack have, the jenny uh -huh. don't have, but the jenny do have, the jenny have jelly. But you yeah. can order those, all those things from the menu, so all okay. the... Anyway, you can understand that so, in different cultures, people are um, consuming yeah. different kind of meat. Kind yes, so, so, yes, yes, so anyway, like, how, although you can, you could swallow anything, yes. but you can't swallow... All right. Delicacy. You look like... Jesus, you, Jesus didn't steal a donkey, so remember he created all things. Yeah. All things were made by him and for That was so before... Was that, was, that was before he died or before he was born. Remember, Jesus existed eternally. Anyway. When he came to, when he came to her, the Bible... Anyway, I forgot to our next he, call. He I forgot to our next call. You know how you hear me? Don't run away, no. Don't run away, Mr. Smart. I have to go to our next call, but you look like... you could, You could. You could. You could. All right, yeah, yeah, next call. Okay, go on, like him more. Go on, like him more. Control the program, he could have swallowed that, he could have swallowed a donkey, he could have gone to China Harbor and order some different part of the menu. And little by little. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Mr. Len. Yes, sir, what's going on? Hail the King. Same way, same way. Yes, yeah, sir, Bridget. Thank you very much. The lion from the hills of the you know? Yes, sir, the King. Yeah, the lion from the hills of the you know? All right, thank you very much. Now, listen now, I know this from last week, you see? Yeah. Special Olympics going on in Canada, right? Yeah, yeah. Where the people with special needs go and perform. Yes, yes. And Jamaica has been doing so well. That's what I hear. And I don't hear one person take one minute out of them time and come on the radio and say, boy, enough eyes is to them. No, man, I hear some of the people, man, I see I hear people making the same products like you, quite a few. And people start to notice them and talk about it. Yeah, man, them, 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 them deserve woolly for eyes, this man. Yeah, you see, they might, they might not be as glamorous as the, as the other kind of Olympics, but... Oh, um, hard, big. Yeah, yeah. And Jamaica have a very good long record in a Special Olympics. Exactly. And those people, those people need a whole lot more, a whole lot more, I mean... Recogn recognition, yes. You know? Let's go for a break and come up, please. Yeah. Welcome back to Straight Up. Good man. Yes, sir, go ahead, please. Yeah, man, I'm there, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, they, they, them, them, they, those little people there that, 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 that them, them stand up strong, you know? Yeah. And them, them should be a, them should be an inspiration to the struggle. Yeah. You understand? Because them succeed despite them, 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 them probably them physical tribulation, you know? Yeah, yeah physical and, 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 and mental, so. Yeah. And right now we have a struggle going on with the principality and power and we have to strong up ourselves because... 
them they might take this thing up on a global scale, you understand? Yeah. And them figure say they, 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 they political power and them money and them machinery. And spear parts. And, and them yeah and them 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 them, them wealth and them new munitions, them fighter plane and them submarine, them things them can big money into submission, you know? Mm. But that's spiritual fight, you know. Yes sir. And then was trying to deal with it. And next thing again, Jerry, you have some caller, you see? Yeah. Them don't understand that dialogue and discourse bring forth knowledge and understanding. Them don't understand those things. They must, they must come on and read, and they must talk, 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 talk. It's like them just try to shoot them point down people through it, including years. And them don't understand, say, you can't learn if you don't have difference of opinion and, uh, and meaningful discussion. You understand? Well, I myself more time, um... I myself more time I um, talk more than what the next person wants to talk and now uh, listen, but we must be able to find a way that meanwhile we're talking, we still have our ears open and, and sensitive to when and where is appropriate to stop and listen what the next because person says. Because you don't no, no, need a party to learn anything or understand anything or gain any further knowledge if, if them don't hear the other side, you know. No, no, that's why it's like, for instance, driving with two ear two ear plug in your phone. You don't want to touch the phone when you're driving, so you put in two ear plug. Or you're listening to the radio, meanwhile driving, or even walking. It's not good because some signals that's supposed to be going on around, even somebody watch, saying, watch out. You might not be aware, right, if you have two plug plug in your ears. If you're walking upon the street, somebody will warn you about this or you're driving your car. It's always good to have a, maybe to have one ear listening and the other ear cock for something else, like a rearview mirror. Yeah, they, they, them, them, them need to understand what dialogue is, Bridget. Them don't, them, them, I see, a lot of us listen to this program, you know, and a lot of us learn only by things from it, because different opinions from different people. Yeah, yeah man, that's the way. Thanks, sir. All right, Bridget, cool. Thank you very much. Next one. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Hello. Yes, welcome, welcome. Yes, brother, you're right around again. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, sometimes I hear some people call in and say to you that um, no one is perfect. And I hear you say, yes, no one is perfect. Yeah. Um, could you explain to me what is the principle of perfect, sir? Perfect means without fault. Or without, without fault. Without fault or without blemish. That's right. Yeah. You, are, you are totally right. But, but don't you see, say it's stupid if people talking. People born perfect. Yeah. God is the one that is not perfect. Who is the one? God is the one that is no, not hold perfect. Hold on, slowly, because we have to take time now. Who is the one that is not perfect? God. Okay, okay. And who you refer to as God? God is the man, the three of who masters them. There is no other God in the jury. All right, take it. No, 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 no. Hold on, take it slow. Because we're learning something, so don't tell me a whole other thing. Just tell me a little by little. You yeah. said God is the slave master. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, all right. Since, you, since we understand you, what you say now, we understand much more. So when you, what you are referring to as God is not what you, what most other people think of when they say God. Then. No, no, just sure, sure. Okay, so we're perfect then. So maybe what you refer to as perfect also is not what other, most other people refer to as perfect. Exactly. All right, what you refer to as perfect? Perfect is water, the earth, and the fruit as man comes see before slavery. Come again. Water is perfect. Right, the earth and the fruit and the wind. All right, so pure water is perfect, right? Right. But not all water is pure. All water come pure. Any contamination of water is man that contaminated. No, hold on, just simple. Just simple. Just take it simple. Pure water is perfect, right? That's right. Is all water pure? Yeah, man, all water is pure. What, all water. Well, take, 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 take time, take time, take time, take time, take time, take time. We have a tech time because you're bringing some deals new, completely new. So take time with us. So like all seawater now, that is pure? Well, to say about the seawater, I don't know if man contaminates water and put salt in here. But well, you, still, you still don't answer the question. We just let want a simple. Let me answer it, my way. If seawater is original on the earth like anything else, and man don't tamper with it, it is pure. Yeah, okay. C could, yeah. You tell, could you tell me where... Do you tell me which part of the globe we could find some pure sea water? Oh, well, I couldn't tell you. Why a love? Why a love? No, because I, I, I wasn't thinking of that. Okay. Oh, so you're not perfect, you're clear then? 
I am not perfectly clear. About that? No, man, I am perfectly speaking about life itself. Yes, yes. And all life force, no matter if it's the food dog in it, as long as the people say life is, 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 is perfect, they are total correct. Yes, yes. And, and if all the insects and the worm that purifies the earth to let water run and energy run into it, all those worms, yeah. it's perfect too. Yeah, but yeah. if man use that worm and crossbreed it to the next principle of life, yeah. and bring out a monster or like a snake and it come... Hold on, hold on, hold on a minute, but we take it slow, because we, we just learn this thing. You say, you say certain worm can crossbreed? Yeah man, people can crossbreed it. No, no, alright, what a worm can crossbreed with? Any other species of worm? No, it can't be any. It have to be specific. If it, if it going crossbreed, it have to be specific. So could you tell us what a worm can crossbreed with? With any other principle or pattern of worm. Where, where are you experience that? Well, when you look at life, like... No, not when, no, not when, not when, not when. Where you experience that? No, no, I'm not talking about I see directly in my eyes. What are you talking about? I'm talking about when I'm looking at the, the iniquity upon the face of the earth that man have done. With the crossbreeding of the things them. And the, 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 the development of all different things. You can see where man thinks. Okay, I, well, I just get to realize that the imagination you're really using. Then. No, 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 it's not my yeah, imagination. Because, yes, because you never see it, but you're telling us that, that from your experience of man iniquity, and, and so therefore. Yes, but, 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 brother No, we don't have enough time. We have got to take it state by state. So call him back again, because we're not going to be able to take in all of this one time. One time, all right. Okay. Thank you very much, yeah. Next one. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome. Yeah, man. Oh, go on. Tell me something. You think of time for them resuscitate the rapid response from water program in light of the crisis that's going on in the country? Uh, but I understand that rapid response is going on and it responded to some people rapidly. Call uh, all, where do you see that? All of the hub of you here say rapid response that carry water to some people yard and other people can't get. I hear says rapid response, truck hunting. No, sir. I couldn't tell. <laughs> No, sir, because two of me see on news and so on, me, me think, you know, I, I don't know. And, 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 and um, you, I mean, you know, just to back up that, uh, you think there should be um, a limit to what the number of years that a politician can serve in parliament, like, you know, say 70 or so. Limit? Yeah. yeah I, mean, I, I, think it's a, I think it's a good, I think it's a good idea to think about and discuss, not only in parliament. Yes. But, um... In certain offices. But there are restrictions in other offices. They say it's a run time, you know, say 60, you know. Yeah, retirement age. Oh, right. that, that's two things, you know. You have, you, have, um, you have term limit and you have retirement age. It's two different, that's two different things. Yes, I know. Yes, yes. And yes. the two things could be usefully examined. As yes. well as a specific post of term limit, like prime minister, different from MP. Right. And minister of government, different from MP. Right. And uh, senator different from uh, from member of parliament. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, you know, I was thinking that they could take the queue off um, from a prime minister, P.J. Patterson. They're not, yeah, they're not going to take it, you know. Um, P.J. Patterson planned from party. before and said, well, then nobody now going to have to push him and we know when to go. Right. At the same time, him, wh when it suits him, him do things as him like. <laughs> so, although um, him was sensibly enough a plan to go before. What, what, what he was running from, you know, mm -hmm. is not being useless, you know. He was running from being defeated in election. He never want him, him record to spoil that he must be defeated in the election. So when Bruce Golden joined back up with the JLP, mm -hmm. and it was obvious that this is a dangerous that Patterson was going to get defeated by a little old JLP, a little JLP. Mm -hmm. He said, it's time for me to go, because I'm not going, I'm going to maintain my record. Not only have first prime minister lead, a, a party to more than two terms, mm -hmm. but the first one who um, who go without nobody have to tell him to go or without sickness lick him down. But it's really the defeat by the JLP he was uh, trying yeah, to avoid. You yeah, you really thinking that for that, Bruce? I'm the telling point. you that is a defeat he was trying to avoid because he saw it coming. I didn't. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's the option. Cause I never think so though. But um, okay, I, I really have a law next guy. I want to hear back from you. Yeah. Call I, me after the news, please. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Next one, please. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Yes, Jerry. Sorry about this morning. Yes, sir. Was, was at the dark time. I was waiting there for at least an hour and a half and trying to get on before, but just as I get on, that is the time they choose to call me. 
we're dealing about the Mario Dean issue, Jerry. Yeah. And we also mentioned about this man that got killed. He, he never got killed in his cell, but he, he died in hospital. Yeah. And this is our independence. We are, we are supposed to be celebrating independence, and this is what they greet us with. The mother, at the time when I was talking to you, she was, she, she was demonstrating down at Barnett Street. You know, see? I believe Mr. Meadows was there with her also. Yeah. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with her, but, you know. Yeah. You know, I keep in touch with her all the while. I know all of the development. You know? And she's frustrated. Yeah. The slow pace in how the court system is going. And it's as if they are dilly-dally, dilly-dally to frustrate people to give up. So that to give up and you don't worry with it. I try to encourage her. She said, don't give up. Yeah. Don't give up. This system is to frustrate you and find you to so away. Tell me no, something now. So tell me something now. Yeah. Your family is against state terrorism. Don't go there, Jerry. I'm not going there. Well, if you don't go there, we're going to stop talking because I am okay. going there. Families for state terrorism was organized specifically to deal with cases like these where agents of the state terrorize or even kill people. And where, what has been their activity over the last um, four years, three years? Can we discuss this uh, next time, Jerry? Who, who is there that is family for state terrorism? The Sobers. The Sobers? Yeah. And since the, um, the election, have they been active? I won't answer that question. So it's only she alone in the organization? I won't answer that question, Jerry. I believe you, I believe you should call her. Mm, no, she... Um, try, get, try get her on the program. And she can't see for herself. No. Well, thank you very much, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Well, I forgot to the 11 a.m. headline news, straight up. Welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small, going into the third hour of the program. By the way, um, I was listening to the Running African program yesterday and um, heard an interesting suggestion by Tekla McFit suggesting to Professor Bobby Hill, Robert Hill, and to Andrea Williams Cabo about um, the transformation and, 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 and upgrading of the Marcus Garvey High School into what Marcus Garvey had dreamed of, you know, a polytechnic college university kind of thing on the north coast there in the center and area. And some of the ideas that Tekla McFed has, has, I think, um, and Bobby Hill was quite... Um, Impressed by the suggestion, although he pointed out some um, complications and some difficulties that it would entail. Like anything useful would entail such difficulties anyway. Um, I think we could have discussed this with Tekla McFett tomorrow on our program. Apart from that, I, I, I'm not sure from listening to the discussion, I'm not sure if people understand that um, as far as I remember, the statue, the statue of so-called Christopher Columbus, out at St. Anne's Bay there. Statue of Christopher Columbus near to the entrance of a Roman Catholic church out there that um, is said to be a long time site of a church from how many hundred years now. Statue of Christopher Columbus. That was there long from what I remember. I don't know if I'm wrong. I'm uh, sure. That was there long before the Marcus Garvey High School was established, but from listening to some of the discussion, uh, I'm not sure if, if, if everyone understand that the school was built after that statue was there. That don't matter really, but there was some suggestion about moving the statue. But the statue was there from before. It's not a matter that it was put there after the school was built. I'm not sure if, if um, people understand or if, or if there's some um, confusion about that. But let's get back to... So, read a couple of text messages before I take this phone call. Jerry? Um, the Adam and Eve story is a farce. Well, it's not a farce really, no. It's a, it's a story demonstrating certain principles. But a lot of people don't, people, a lot of time people take fable for fact. When some of the fables are really, fable and legend are there to demonstrate certain principles. And some people take them as fact. Some people take them as fact. Even some of the people who seem to be most intelligent. Them, sometimes they deliberately suspend, suspend their judgment and suspend their intelligence in order to accommodate some other things. That's why I had to ask that man if he can swallow a donkey because I have people who 
strain at a fly, just like what the uh, uh, verse in the Bible says, strain. Them strain for follow a little, to swallow a little thing like a fly. Strain for swallow, swallow a fly, but them um, can swallow all a big, a big um, camel easily. Next one, Jerry, you're about the two killing of two mothers by their children in Trelawney and St. James. Ask the police. Them are hide it. Eh? Killing by children of their mothers. None over here. Next one, Mr. Small, can you see that in this era, Rastafari's mission of redemption and repatriation is the same of that as a Christ 2,000 years ago, Black Mama? Yes, I see it. Yes, I see it. Let us get back to the phone. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Next one, please. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Small. Welcome, sir. Calling from Westmoreland. Yeah. First time caller. Thank you very much. Well, long time listener. Yeah. So what really happened? I've been listening to you for a long while. Yes. But what I acknowledge is that you are a Rasta man, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I am a Christian. Yeah. My philosophy is different from yours. Yeah. Now, I just want to explain something to you, see? Yeah. No man knows everything. No, well, I know that. Right? What, yes, I know that, yes. Right. No man, I just want to explain something to you. No man knows everything. Yeah. Some man have short memory. Yeah. Some man have long memory. Mm -hmm. Right? All right. What I want to say to you now, you see when it comes to the word of God in the scripture? Which scripture? In the Bible. Is the Bible the only scripture? No, I'm talking the entire Bible. No, hold on. Is the Bible the only book of scripture in the, uh, in the world? I'm speaking about from Genesis to Revelation. I am asking you if the Bible is the only book of scripture in the world. That's what I know. Oh. I know the Bible as the only scripture. Uh, would, you be, would you be willing to accept that there are other scriptures? Well, it could be. Yeah, you know what the word I'm scripture means? I am not disputing that. You know what the word scripture means? Scripture to me is the word of God to the, to the, to the Christian. No, the word scripture, but, the word scripture means something that is written down. Right, when that is written, that is written for our learning. Yeah, something so that is I'm written down, yeah. you know, you see? Yes, sir. The natural man, according to the word of God in the scripture. Yeah. The natural man. Yeah cannot understand the scripture, yes. the word of God, yes, because yes. he's natural, yes. he's a sinful man. Yes, yes. You, see, you see, the man who is a sinful, a spiritual man, yeah. the spiritual man will understand the scripture. Yes, yes. Now, what I want to say to you now, the scripture says, in Titus 1 and verse 2, God cannot lie. Yeah. You see, in 2 Timothy 3 and verse 16, it says that all, scri all scripture, that means from Genesis to Revelation, is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction in righteousness, that the man of God may be truly furnished unto all good works. Yeah, hold on a little, hold on. Because we have a limited time. Now, out of those various type of man that, 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 that describe, you see? Yes. Which one you are? I said I'm a Christian. No, no, you didn't describe that a while ago. You talk about the... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on a little, hold on a little, hold on, just calm. You described a while ago the natural man don't understand certain things. Yes. But the spiritual man understand those yes, things. Yes. Now I'm asking out of those man, which one you are? Well, I'm a spiritual man. So you are not the natural man. No. And you are not the sinful man. I said I'm a spiritual man. I am man. asking you if you are a sinful or if you are a sinful man. From sin to righteousness. I am asking you if you are a sinful man, are you? I am not a sinful man. Okay. You're All not right. So you so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you stop sin then. Then say, say if me stop sin. You never hear me? No, no, I no I don't I don't have sin. I say if you but stop, I say if you I stop can, I can sin. I no, hold on, no, no. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. You stop sin? Yes. Okay. So you don't sin again, right? All right. Here's what I'm saying to you now. Yes. I can't do scripture. Yeah. It says, Second Peter 1, 21 says, For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men moved 
by the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So the scripture is written by man, but, but not sinful man like me, are you? Oh, you are sinful man? I was not, I was not sinful man, of course. Oh, but I just hear you just said that you, you don't... God, no, but I just, I just hear you said that... The just, word of God says, all of sin and come short of the glory of God. No, but you say you stop. No, you say you stop sin. But I stop now because I repent of my sin. Uh, so you, are, you couldn't call yourself sinful man again then? I repent of my sin. So I was a sinful man, but I repent of my so sin. So you are not a sinful man again? That's what I was, I no, 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 well, keep it simple, 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 so you are not a sinful man again, right? No, no, I'm not a sinful man, but that's you're just, right. but you're just, you're just said sinful man again, like me, are you? Well, you cannot, well, you cannot understand, why you trying to, why, why, you cannot understand, why, 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 no, I am not talking to you, but you want, yes. to, you, want, you want to take over the argument and tell me to say what I must say, what I no, must be able to no, say. No, I you, said I repent of my sin. You just said sinful man like you, Jerry Small, and me. Yes. So, so you I are... repent of my sin, but you don't repent. No, but if you're not sinning so again... You're a sinful man. You couldn't, know, you couldn't know the meaning of the scripture, you know. No. You're a sinful man. Yes, and you are a righteous man, right? Yes, I'm, I'm well, I am righteous now because I am really sinful to because well, thank you. Sin, all of us man are sinners. Well, well, thank you very much. You do, you well, do not believe that. All right, thank you very much. Listen, listen, listen to you. No, you're gone listen, over the time. Listen. No, you're gone over the time. But thank you very no, much. You, do, you, you don't want to hear. You don't, you don't no, want to hear. You're gone over the time, and I still you give you. You don't want to hear because you don't believe in the word of God. No, you are and right. You cannot, and you cannot understand the word of God if you don't believe in it. Then why you? Then why you? Then then, then why you? I can't even say life of God, you know. Then why you? So life is life not God. From, my brother, let me tell you something. Life come from somewhere. Eh, God eh. made man and breathed the breath of life into you. Hello, look here. All right, we're gone. No, you're gone right there. Thank you very much, righteous man. Thank you very much, righteous man. Yes, keep, yes, but you are righteous, man. Let me turn another call. He's too righteous. We cannot. I've said, please put us to the next call. Look how he's too righteous. We can't take any more of him. Good day, Jerry. Thank you very much. Jerry? Yes, sir. Good day. What's up, Yes, sir. Eh? What's up, man? Well, thank you. They're done, Kofat. Okay. So let's go to the um, tribute singer. Let's go to him, man. The tribute? Yes, man. I saw you earlier, you know. The only, 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 only. I called you, man. And you didn't tell me, you didn't ask me where the washroom was. Oh, yes, 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 that's true. Like, you know? Yes, too uh, right. It. Yes, man. But you never identify yourself. So, okay. I think it was some sin or another. <laughs> because I think, you know, because I woke up, I drink and all them things. Now. Yes, I know you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Why is really good, man? Really so, good. I do hear my great man. Yes. Uh, uh, Pamal and, you know? And uh, all. Yes. And, yes, man, I do, man. You know? Who was that um, gentleman, that fat gentleman here? That are on a red shirt. Well, um, um, Biggs, um, what Biggs him name again? Um, something like that Biggs him name, man. Is that cover racing, Anna? Yes, man, and yes. Uh, he was a singer, by, he was Byron Lee. Oh, um, okay, okay. Yes, man, he was big, so... I can't forget what Biggs him name. Yes. And good to see Billy Cole, too. Yeah, man. You know? Yeah, man. That's the greats, man. Yeah, man. And of course, the nice ladies and so on. Yeah, man. Great, great. Really great, um, Jerry, man. Yes, really sir. Great. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you never stay late, though? Mm, yes, I stayed up to about after one. Eh? Yeah. You are on the floor, you know? You think I never see you? What do you mean? I'm drunk and laid up on the floor? Eh? What do you mean? I'm drunk and laid up on the floor? No, man. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. Better, better things. Oh, oh, oh. Answer me that special one. Yeah, man, Joe. Yes, 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 yeah. man. So, you know, I just like to see, you know? Yes, yeah, sir. Everything they go on, so on, and things like that. Yeah, hey, man. Jerry, I saw you speaking to a gentleman around here. It was Mr. Coombs. Which Coombs that? Jenk, Mr. Coombs. Uh, yeah, you know, that phone in? Yes. No. Which, which, which man do you think was Mr. Coombs? That gentleman that you was talking to, and I think he was in an orange pants or something like that. We, orange pants? Yes, orange suit. Which pants? A little man. I don't know about you. I, I mean, I try to remember. Am I, am I have a hat? Yes. Orange. No, I can't, mean, I mean, can't do this thing. No, man, I mean, can't sit down there and tell him, shot, a shot, then come on. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't pick him up. Yeah. Yes, man. Yes, sir, it does good. That's really good, you know? I'm true, man. Really good, I'll pick up the sponsors and so on and things like so, that. Yeah, so, so, you're the last caller they do? Yes, yes. About the um, spiritual thing, yeah? Yeah, but I don't fight down nothing I'm saying, but him can't make up his mind whether him is a... Uh, Spiritual man, or whether he is, he is still a yeah, sinner. But what he was saying, Jerry, what yeah. he was saying is that um, right now, about just stop seeing him. That's what he was saying. 
No, he, no, him say him stop singing. He just stop singing. Yeah, I don't doubt him, but um. Okay. Yeah. Him say him yeah. stop singing. Just when he say no sin at all, and him no, that's what him saying. Yeah. yeah. But but you say what? Warm to them, them swallow. Yeah. Them swallow the book, but um, you know, think them digest it. Okay. Okay. Them swallow it and then some more time them vomit it up back on, but them not digest it. Yes, yes, them not. Them and them would understand it. And them would name them chew them cud. Yes, them not, them not understanding certain things. Well, I'm not going on like I understand everything, you know, but, but them are, but them are going like them understand everything. Yes, and you see, as I have as always as told you, and it's a very controversial thing, you know. Yeah, man, dogma, dogma. Very, very cool and controversial. Dog, dogmatic. Yes. Well, th thank you very much. Yeah, right, man. Jerry. Thank you very much. Next song. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up Hello. Yeah, good morning. You yeah, just use an interesting word to the, the con um, the, in the conversation, dogma. Yeah. Listening to you, eh, PJ became Prime Minister, leader of the party and Prime Minister in March of 1992, right? And Bruce Golden was still also in Parliament. So why then? Um, there's no logic in your argument. PJ retired because he didn't want to lose and Bruce Golden coming back. In, nine, in 2005 was a threat. Bruce Golden was there as MP when PGA took Bruce, over. Bruce Golden did not come back in 2005. When Bruce, did he come back? Bruce Golden went back to the JLP in September, officially in September 2002. It's officially 2002. Yeah. And PGA won that election and he was there before 2002 as MP. So if you listen to what you're saying, your argument doesn't make much sense. No, you might yeah. be able, you might be able to confuse yourself, you know, but you can't, you're not going to no, Hold well, on, would you allow no. me? Just let me finish a sentence, please. Mm. You might be able to confuse yourself, but you're not going to confuse me. No, but you are confused already because PJ was not afraid of, of Bruce Golden was the one who was afraid and he, he ran. Um, no, the next interesting... No, no, you're not going to jump over that. Hold on. Yes. PJ Patterson always say, Nobody will have to tell him when is the right time to go because he will know and he will go before anybody have to tell him. Yeah, because you Would you allow me? Are you going to talk when your time and then when me uh, I talk? No, you're going to... Let, let us hear you. Yeah. P.J. Patterson said, mm -hmm. nobody going to have to go tell him when to go because he will know when it's time to go and he will go before that time. Now, he, he, he led the PNP to a third electoral victory in a row in 2002, that's the first time any part in Jamaica had gone more than two straight. In 2000, uh, in, two, in 2000, let me say, 1989, no, would you allow me, allow me, allow me, don't come into my thing. Yes. No, the, P, the PNP won in 89, they won back in 93. Yes, and in and in and um and in ninety seven was the third. Ninety seven was the third. Yeah, and two thousand. Low me, low me, low me, low If you don't low, I forgot to go go to something. No else. man, talk, man. I know why you're wrong. Yes, yes, yes. So in two thousand, in nineteen ninety seven was the third straight electoral victory. The first time a party in Jamaica ever did that. And um, then in two thousand and two, for after two thousand and one, when Shaheen Robinson shake up, shake them up a little way, and um. Siag and the JLP get reinvigorated and, and kind of see a little light like them can win. You didn't shake up anything. That's you, so you're going to continue, all right? We're going to go to our next call. Because right, you're not going to go No, call back. No, you're not, you're not going to go on, girl. What are you yeah, talking about? Right, right. I'm, I'm going to give you one minute now for to go and talk about your talk. Next topic. Yeah, the next topic. Um, there's an interesting letter in the Observer today about the PNP headquarters becoming a JLP enclave. I think you should read it and read it for the general. Because there seems to be a... A, a new trust in the PNP amongst the, 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 the members of parliament to, to re, um, re, reposition by the party secretariat. And it, it's healthy and it's good. And we are in the Freedom Week of Celebration. So it's a, it's a very good letter and I'd like you to read it. But you're giving misinformation on the PGA. All right, and, no, you cut, cut out there. You have no authority for that over it. Cut it, cut it, please. We don't joke with them. No, I joke with them. When, when Bruce Golden... When the JLP negotiated with Bruce Golden to come back into the JLP, and in 2002, they announced it. One month before the election. Uh, two weeks before the election, he was received back into the JLP, and Siaga even accorded him joint leadership. And said, so I'm going to campaign as joint leader. Bruce Golden is going to lead the part, the Western Jamaica campaign, and he's going to lead the Eastern Jamaica. And the JLP gathered up a momentum upon them, which was only 
marred by the whole day election reign. Whole election day reign in 2002 and result in the closest result in the election of Jamaica. P.J. Patterson see the writing upon the wall and prepare to exit before Siaga leave the JLP and Bruce Golden take full leadership by JLP. Um, P.J. Patterson as a very astute politician see the writing upon the wall and him, and him um, with four elections straight victory which was sufficient for him um, write down for him name in the history. He hand over to Portia Simpson Miller. Not only that, he did say not only is Portia best chance to win a fifth term, she is the only chance to win a fifth term because Peter Phillips can't do it and P.J. Patterson couldn't do it neither. That's why he said Portia Simpson Miller is not only the best chance, she's the only chance to win a fifth term. Because not only Peter Phillips couldn't do it, him, P.J. Patterson, couldn't do it neither. And it did turn out later that not even Portia could have do it neither. Big and strong and the most popular leader in the history of Jamaica, as she was, she still lose the election in 2007. But if anybody could have done it, it would have been her. Not P.J., not Peter Phillips. None of them. Eventually it turned out not Portia Simpson Miller neither. She was a nightmare. And uh, let's get back to the phone. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Next one, please. Next call, please. Yeah. Welcome, yeah, yeah. Wel welcome, welcome. Jimmy and Barry Biggs, Jimmy and Barry Biggs, man, Barry Biggs. I know it was another B, but I couldn't figure it out. Yes, thank you. Barry Biggs. Yeah, and um, I see better fret about the people them where I come across. The greening of the PNP. <laughs> well, if, if over there, so I have a leader who don't know the difference between who fought for the ending of slavery. Yes. And 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 and, and who, Bogle, Yes, and who fought for land rights yes. and justice. Yes. The fight of William Gordon and Bogle was for justice and land rights. Yes. And them and him, him, even reading the script him, him never him couldn't distinguish as that um that they were after slavery yes. leader after slavery leader after the legal slavery leaders, yeah. Yeah then then um some, some people now go take that kind of leader. No, although he is the most educated. I mean, and I'm not mocking him, I'm not mocking him you know. Just like how Portia is most honorable. Yes. Um, Andrew Wallace is the most, edu most educated. Especially since he was Minister of Education one time and did, fear, did well, that's where he made his name. Yes, some people now go take that kind of leadership. No, not acceptable. Standard too low. Can't make it to the world champs. Okay. No. Anyway, let come on. Thank you very much. Maybe the special Olympics, but but no, we're not we're not mark the special Olympics at all. Don't want to mark them. And, and as the brethren did I say, big up them people there, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, and it's a long but we're doing exceptionally well. Wide yeah, widening the widening the arena because first time it was just track and field and and wheelchair basketball. Yeah. Yeah. But them widening and widening, that's also my sport, I don't even know the sport name so. Oh man, by the way, yeah. you know I said them have blind football. Long, well no, no, yes I think yes I know we are. Cricket, boy the cricket one is very interesting. A sound, a most of the sound them use and, 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 yeah. and. But here we are, we have the blind football now. Yeah. Israel and Iran. Yeah. Always meet up. Yeah. And when them two they meet up, no match no go on most allow bar and what have you and what yes. is cutting yes. 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 thank you very much thank you very much yes. next one please good morning welcome to straight up hello yes sir welcome sir yes um defending the universe faith of righteousness is the spiritual dark no, no, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. No, I'm going to ask you a question. question first. All right, go on. Do you or do you not intend to come to bring so a topic here to be discussed or you're just going to watch out of the earth alone? Mr. Jeremy, I have just allowed the word to spread for the time being. And when the people are aware of the word, All right, you have 30 seconds. 30 seconds more. So, go on. 30 seconds. Go on. So, yes, all right. 
before the existence of every life. It is the spiritual dark oneness. The all-powerful dark is the eternal stillness of the purity into our life, Mr. Jerry. The creator where you talk about the supreme, the almighty, is the same faith where everybody I give praise about you have it in creation and you have the spirit. But all right, the all right, thank you. Let's talk, let's play now today. Thank you very much. Next one. No, good, ma good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Welcome. Yeah, brother, Jerry. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, brother, um, darkness there, you know, where you just a question, I just asked him a while ago, face to have a discussion, plain instead of us coming like him a preach. Yeah. Is it really the right question you're asking, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man, meet right and wrong again. Tell me something, I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Do you, do you, do you really accept that the slave master that all we at ransom, them have a God, are a ruler, are a minister for everything, one sitting on a plan to trick we, one sitting on a plan to fool we, one own water, one own sun, one own island, land and everything? Yeah, man, that sounds similar, yeah. Right. So therefore now, it, once this God principle that man bring up on us, which we abide by and a rule under, you can clearly sit down and look into yourself and know totally say that there is man here before God, and God is a culture of a principle that man grew up and attach himself to. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When you say man before God, what do you mean? You have to have life before God. You have to have a baby born before you hear the G.O.D. word of God. People practice these things and learn, learn these things. Yes, but anyway, you don't intend to talk um, as plain as what everybody can understand. Yes, because brother Jerry. No, I'm asking you. No, 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 hold on. Yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, I, yes, no, man. I am asking you if you don't intend to talk as plain as what everyone can follow and understand. No, brother Jerry, because that keeps in black people. Oh, so you intend to talk not plain then? It is plain, but people want to hold on to God. If I talk to God, we will be talking like everybody else in the world. And you have some somebody anyway, that anyway, we're not. Hear me now, hear me now. When you can talk like a plainer and explain things like a plainer, what you mean, we will have some more time. Here's a, we have to go to yes. a break here uh -huh. you now. And, right. and the next call also. Good morning. Let's go for a break. Yeah, welcome back to Straight Up. I'll read some text messages here first. Next one. Morning, Robin. I was watching a rerun of the movie Roots. This movie is never still to me, and the lessons are so clear. Bravo, Kunta Kinte, coming from Short and Sweet. Next one. Good morning, Brother Small. That caller said that Adam and Eve was the first owner of the land. You need to understand that these are Bible stories. Then, or Joe? Next one. Sir Jerry, where is Christopher Joseph? Is who name so? I can't remember. Who is, who is Christopher Joseph? I, I don't, I'm not recognizing this name here. Christopher Joseph. Remind me, please. Next one. Morning, Jerry. Could you please play Sizzler? Now, nah, apologize to the J flag. Thank you. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. Next one. Robin, that kind of statement was made in the movie as well. What's the same? Kunta Kinte, I think. They hang a few freedom seekers in front of the others. Personally, my blood are boiled, coming from short and sweet. Yeah, man, that's what. That's a favorite thing. And that's why I am when them crucify the people. When Rome usually crucify the people, them, them usually put this, the cross them out into the public to terrify the people and as a sign and a warning, terrorism, you know, terrify the people by doing some terrible things and displaying it. Let's get back to the phone. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello? Yeah, Mr. Smart. Welcome, sir, Mr. Brown. How are you? Yeah, man, I'm there. Greetings to Mr. Smart, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, I hear the people who run the athletics, you know? Yes, sir. They're saying somebody leak. Some information about a drug. Yeah. Or some athlete attack. Yeah. But that drug look like so when you when you pass you in it's hard to find out. Oh. You know hear about it? No, I hear somebody mention it this morning on the year, but I never but then you you know you hear it big big. Yeah. Say, but them can't charge nobody feet. Yeah. I feel I hit um gasoline I use. Yeah. Yeah, because them say I work for people. Them say Usain Bolt is 
free of all such things. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But then, if them know that they're not to charge people, because right now, you know, yeah. if I just you know, I use it, I'm going to get paid to use it now, you know. No, but if they can't, if they can't detect it, how are they going to charge people? They detect them, know how to detect it now. When, when them find out how to detect it? Well, if them never find out, them wouldn't talk. No, man, we can't just use that logic there. If, what did you hear on the news item? When I you, hear that. When, no, when did you find out? When did they, with the news items, say them find out how to detect, detect. Yes, no, no, hold on, listen, listen to me good, listen, listen to me good, listen to me. The news item, did the news item state when them find out how to detect it? No. So we don't know if them I find out. Yeah. If somebody leak that information. Yeah. And say there's a drug. Yeah. That they using. But that drug now is very hard, look like it very Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but that information. Is not proof yet enough. Proof is a higher level. You know, that is the reason why them don't want to charge nobody for it. They can't, you mean they can't. Ah, because it, it, them, it's a technical thing where a man go and find out things. Yeah, but that listen, let me ask you a question. Let yeah. me have to ask myself also. Yeah. Do you believe that anybody can run as fast as you're saying, but? I think somebody will do that, yes? Yes. So if somebody start to run nearly fast like him now, and Gatlin now run nearly fast like him now, because Gatlin only do 9.7 something, I believe. I don't think him do 9.6 nothing yet. No. So if Gatlin not running nearly fast like Bolt best, why is it that we doubt? Why is it that we doubt, say? come up with that same good I use it. No, me no, me no. No, me I say, why is it that we doubt, say, somebody soon run as fast as Bolt? Well, I, I don't know, I wouldn't come up with that, you know, but I stand to where the big authority to them say. Yeah. They are swing it widely. Yeah. They say, somebody leak out, say there's a job where they're using now, and make them go fast. Yeah, yeah. But them claim, say, you see them go clean. Yeah, me hear that, man, me hear that, me hear But that. them can't charge nobody, because, look at them can't, I don't know how them going to bust this one, yeah. But anyway, them say, somebody leak it. Yeah, yeah. Leak the knowledge of it. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah. And the sportsman, they have it up. Yeah. And say, boy, it's a use, but them can't. I don't think them can come up with it, that they have this specimen. I know where it means, man, all them kind of things. Yeah, all right. Me good listen out here, sir. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Good. Good morning, and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. The blessed love. Right. You see, in my time I, as a teaching and, and my, my growing up and, and, and learning and getting understanding and knowledge, all of, my, all, all of them things that you, you get to see, you see, you know, you are the one of them that are losing you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and, and all of your work is of Satan. All right, so why you call me? Yes, yeah, no, 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 we tell you, I tell your people them. Um, okay, all you right. Know, we say, we claim, say, they might learn from you. All right, thank you, you very much. Don't take your team. All right, thank you very much. All who love call them, again. Them hello, them. my lady, hello. Call again you know, soon, yeah, call yeah, again soon. Call again soon. Next call, next call. Now that you deliver your message, thank you very much. Next call. Good afternoon, morning, rather. Good morning. Uh, how, how are you doing? Yes, sir. Um, I called you earlier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I you were talking to one of your call, and he was um, trying to explain to you um, of being a, you know, and being a righteous man. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you was asking him, is he still a sinner? Yeah. So I think what he failed to explain to, to you and your caller yeah. is that we all are born sinners. Yes. And that does mean that we, God has a standard that he requires of each human being to live up to. And we are born incapable of that standard. Incapable. Yes. But on, our, on our own, on our own physical and human abilities. Yes. To do that. Yes. You understand? Because if we go back to the Bible, and it's not just a story, but the Bible is a is an historical, present and future record. And when He created Adam and Eve, as you have pointed out earlier in your preamble, that they were in a perfect state. They were. They were. They were. What? They, were what? they were in a perfect state. They were they in a they perfect. They didn't have to be sweating to, to, um, to, to find their food. They could just, you say, as a matter of fact, you said the only sweat they probably would have, have, to, have to make was to pick the fruit. Yes, you know, yes. So they could just, right, so God created I, I was referring to the, 
reality of mankind, human beings, original state of human beings, uh -huh. all human beings all over the world, uh -huh. all, all human beings. Okay, sir. Not specifically to no Adam and Eve, all human beings was, okay. was living. Okay, go ahead, I don't want to be talking over you. You go on, go on. Yes, sir. Um, so, basically, I go back to Adam and Eve. They've been the two um, first human beings. Adam created first, then Eve came after. She came? So, where she yeah, come, Eve, where came, she, Eve came after. Where she come from? Um, as you said, from the Montage. You know, I, can't, I, 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 never, I never tell you where she come from. Where, where, from, where she, from the Montage, right? From the Montage, right? From the Montage, from the Montage. Now, that is a story. Yeah, okay. That is a story, but it's not, it, um, that is not a... Factual stories, a story demonstrating some principle. It's a story to show, teach some principle. But you okay, don't, sir, but you, I'll, but you I'll don't, but, but, you, but you don't understand that. Mm, well, okay, so maybe not the way you understand it, sir. You don't understand that. Yes, sir. So the point I'm making now is the fact of the matter that Adam and Eve disobeyed. And the fact that they disobeyed the command that God gave them, there were the consequences for for the for the for the, the disobedience. No, we're not going to be able to go through the whole creation here now. You are referring to the man not knowing how to ex how to explain to me about being a sinner. Right. But since you know, you explain it now. Okay. Then I'm explaining based on my understanding. But you're not going to go through the whole long you're not going to go through no no no. That's just straightforward. I am telling you this. We're not going to go through the whole long argument now. You explain how much about being a sinner and not being a sinner. Since you okay. are since you understand it better than him. Okay, I mean, the fact is that we were born in total disobedience towards God. Um, that makes us a sinner. When we obey what God tells us, we become a born-again person. As the Word tells us that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature, all things are passed away, and all things become new. So what happens now is that your, na the na your spiritual nature becomes alive. Which year? Which year? Which year? Which year are you talking about? Who is human, this year? Human beings, man. Human beings. Which human, human beings? Both physical and spiritual and other. We are not a physical being. You're, you're talking of your own experience. I'm talking about human beings. I am asking you if you are talking about your experience. Okay, so when... Yes, okay, so are you talking about your experience? Yes. All right, okay, well, I send me. Born again. I send me, yes, yes. Any human being is yes. born again. The word you, no, you, 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 tell, you, you tell of your experience. Okay, so, yeah. right. So when I was born again, yeah. I now submit myself to God's authority and live my life based on his instruction. Yeah. No, and that is, I am now living in right relationship with him. And you are so not sinning, so and you are not, si and you are not sinning again. You will sin in You, not, not you, not me, not me, not me. Not, hello, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not me, you me at the board now. So you don't sin again, right? Okay, so I'm, ask, I'm asking yes, you, I, I am asking you. That does not make me a sinner. I am asking you. Yes, sir. If, I no, 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 don't try to drown out. I am asking you, if since you're born again, you don't sin again. Yes, sir, I sin. Okay. But that does not make me a sinner. Oh. A sinner who is one who practices sin as a way of life. Oh. But so what? The person, who, the person who has repented of his or her sin, yeah. is in Jesus Christ, yeah. has now become a child of God. Yes. The Bible says, my little children, I write unto you that you... No, no, hear me now. Don't tell me about the Bible. Hear me now. Hear me now. Yeah, hear me. This is taking too long. We're going over the time. I want to hear about you and your experience and stop carrying me back to the Bible now. You. So you say, since you born again, you still sin. But it's not a practice. No, no, not about no but. Just, just let me get this plain. Since you born again and you are now a child of God, mm -hmm. you still sin, right? Yeah, man. Can you fall down? All right, all right. No, not you. Don't, don't tell about no you. What are you telling about you? Are you? I fall down, but I don't stay down. Oh, so. But you yes. sin. You still sin, though. Yeah, but that's All right, okay. Happen, thank you very much. Call again. Like okay, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, nice. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Yeah, Bongo Jerry. Welcome, sir. Ah, uh, we in man. Yeah, man. The climate, the climate really changed from them and them they even see it, you know. From them who? The, the whole meteorological system oh. on, the, on, the, on the earth, yeah. Oh, you mean them don't see it? There's something that people are talking about every day for years now. Yeah, but basically it, 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 the, the, the whole thing shifts right round because where we are get half of the Sahara and desert are basically the sun we now get the, the, the cloud maestration we would have farm half of the of West Africa coast we would have come across and farm so what farm and, and so and so we coast. know so we know as um as a human being another community what we can do 
We can't do nothing, Jerry. It, 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 the whole climatic system of the earth change up. We no, I want to discuss. We just live with it as we talk about me right now, you know. Okay, so what do you think the outcome will be? Well, we are, we are see the effects of it, you know, Jerry. No, no, not about effects, you know. No. no rain and food price are go up and... The, the no, thing. the outcome. What do you think the outcome will be? Ay, Jerry, I do I do I do um, people, sometimes you talk some things and people say it's a doomsday thing at the panel. But I'm asking you before you use the time you are fret about what people are going to say what you're going to say. Uh, you we know? are fret, we are, yeah, they are fret about what people... I'm not fretting no, Jerry. The, but me ask you, you tell me, say, if you talk, if people are going to say it's doomsday. That's that, that we're dealing with. I say, what do you think the outcome will be? I'm more separation from the people. Em. Yeah, and but that's not outcome, you know. That, that, that does a state. Then outcome now is the final. Either changing from the situation or how the situation will end. What do you think? All right, I'm going to go for a break and when you come back, you tell me. Uh. Yes, um, welcome back. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, don't, sir. Don't worry too much about what people will say, man. Because if, because I want you, I want people, you know. Uh, mm. you know? But don't worry about what people will say. Because a reality attack on you causes. But what do you, you think the outcome will be, really? Well, basically, we have to really, we have to really, as a people, have to really come together and look on the whole situation and know, say, a crisis level with the pan right and now. That, 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 that is even, I, where I did even uh, uh, refer to the reverse osmosis yeah. thing the other day to you and, and the uh, boy, the, the, the salt, and we have to find ways of how to deal with, with certain things. Yeah. You know, because... I hear a caller even mention this, this hotel long, long, long from the west there. Where them name? Do even mention Whatever them name, they, they and, don't rely on public water. Right, can't they? and, yeah. and them, them 100% solar. Yeah. You know, so that, that's how we have to try to move the team. Now tell me something, all right, one more minute we have. Mm. If you are like the people in Harborview, and you're in the scheme and you're not getting no water, and you say water truck coming in and going to certain yard and filling them up and all them way. And when you say to your neighbor, you say to the truck man, where, how, where we can get some. And you say to the neighbor, how we can get some. And them not telling you, you see? What, how you would, pro and, and them come back again. All the while, every week them coming and you mm, can't get your car. How you would proceed? Oh, that's uh... I tell you that thing. Uh, all right, all right. You, you look like you don't have no idea. All right. That, that, would yeah. you Would you talk with the other neighbors who are not getting any idea? Yes, but we'll have to leave. All right, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Just hold them up. I want a few seconds. Uh, also, the fourth week when the truck come in there, would you allow it to come in and all than be given private water also still? No, uh, sir. From demonstration, I'd have to go. Demonstration? Oh, you, 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 you and the other neighbors who are not getting none wouldn't take control of that truck? Yeah, man, some, something would have to go on. I'm not, me not about something, man. They say if the truck can drive, come in, pass your yard for the, for the fourth week and oh, pass the neighbor yard. I'm, I'm on water, Jerry. Just answer, man. No, no. Well, all right, water. well, all right, all right, all right. We, water, water you will have. Then, no. once you know that water you will have and the fool will be thirsty in the abundance of water, but this is the wise man. No water can't be about there, he may not get none. And, and, him, and him picking them. Thank you, sir. Ah, bless you. Don't worry about fret and shed no high water, otherwise you'll catch the high water too. So you have to go, that, Jerry. You have to oh, go watch okay. your, you have to catch up the high water and wash your car. <laughs> Next one. Good morning. No, we have some text messages there. Hold on. Bless up, Bongo Jerry. Look forward to straight up so much. It's therapeutic dancing partner. I miss my lady. Next one. Do you, you think them I eat it? I must say, don't them my dog. I sell them, I sell it for black people. We eat too much on the plant, we eat. Next one, morning Jerry, there's a burst pipe in Stone Hill run hard about two days now and there's a ball about water shortage. NWC really not easy, yeah, man. You should tell us which part in Stone Hill. Tell, next time tell us which part in Stone Hill. Next one, Jerry, good morning. I wonder whether Mother P visit Jamaica. If she, when Mother P visit Jamaica, if she will spare some time and address the nation about water problem. Well, if you fix a road, I'm sure you'll visit Jamaica. Spend a little 200, 300 million and fix a road. I'm not sure she will come here. Next one, morning, send birthday greetings, shout out to my niece, Kadeen McKay, and belated to Mrs. Mabel Henry in boys' content. Wish for them God's blessing, richest blessing from coming from Carol. That's to Kadeen McKay, birthday, and belated to Miss Mabel in the boys' content. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the phone. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hey. Yes, sir. And the jog thing there. Yeah. 
athlete then. Yeah. A report was leaked from member of Awada or, or one of them. Yeah. And some analysts look on it and say, find say, there are some inconsistencies in the sample. Oh. And then I wonder how the authorities now clamp down on it more. But they mostly focus on the distant race them. Oh. Uh, them named Kenya and Russia. Oh. Uh, uh, our Jamaica and uh, Jessica Ennis were run for England. Oh. I say, she run uh, the, the year when she did run second in uh, the race there. Yeah. It's a, it's a drug thing to beat her and the person they get banned right now. Oh. But I don't hear them say nothing about the sprint. Yeah. Mostly the endurance. Oh. Yes, them call them and say the inconsistencies in the, in the report and the running of the endurance race them. Yes. Look funny. Yes, yes. All right, now watch it. But, but, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't just suspect Gatlin alone. The only thing, the thing that mostly make suspicion chaos for him is because he done deal with that already. He done being on drugs already, but... Yeah. It wouldn't be him alone. Yeah, and it, yes, and um, you know, and um, one day somebody going equal Bolt and maybe surpass Bolt. So. Yeah. But we don't know if he's now. Well, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yeah, give that. Next one. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Robin, this is your long lost sister who taught one of your sons. I'll just, I'll not say my name on air, but my initials, DB. Okay, well, go on. Uh, yes, ma'am. Unfortunately, I can only listen to you during holiday time. I make it a point of my duty, actually, for years now. Yes. Anyway, um, I have a point. Yes. Um, I've always happened upon a particular program on a particular gospel station. Yes. Uh, channel, that is. And there is this guy, it's always late at night. Guy um, pleading for the Jews, for persons to bringing contributions, donations, and he's, this, this host really represents the cause of the Jews very well, you know, in their Holocaust and these Russian Jews who want to repatriate Israel and persons should, um, you know, call this particular number and give donations. And I've never heard, I've always been thinking for years, who is representing our cause? Yeah. Because of the black people. Yeah. I mean, suppose people want to re repatriate. It's very, it's very expensive. Yeah. Whichever group. I don't care. Christian, Islam. And perhaps we should really divorce religion from this. Um, but just a group. Any group that is deeply concerned about repatriate justice. Yeah. Um, instead of talking about it, because I'm, I'm, I'm tired of attending talks. I mean, I like them. Um, it's just uh, another way of stating the obvious that need reparations. But there are persons who want to go back to Africa. Yes. So why not really get in a very organized way, whether through school, um, church, and I know um, the, the, the traditional Christian church may, may decry that, that type of... Um, proposal i don't know yeah but whatever it is whether we in, wh whoever wants to be on board wh whoever wants to be involved then yeah. because we can't keep talking about it until 2050. no but um l let me point out the jews the jewish people and the um, people attached to israel and so on mm -hmm. they have been scattered several different times over and over more than right. one time until them intermarry with all different kind of people and some of them have a different look from the original Jews because mm -hmm. most of who they call Jews now look like Europeans because them scatter and mix yes, ones yes, Europeans for so much years. King James Bell would say scattered abroad. Yes, so them not, them not actually really look like old Middle Eastern people that looked 3,000 years ago or 4,000 years ago. Right. And it has taken some of them thousands of years before them get well organized like oh yes them now it's not mm. overnight a long time mm 
Okay. So we the African people mustn't feel too bad and say, look how the Jews are so well organized and look how we, we won't. It's just a few hundred years. It's just about okay. 500 years now. Although that's a long time. It's just yeah, yeah, about yeah. 500 years now that we suffer this dispersation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. down in the West here. So we mustn't feel too bad because the Jews, the, these Jews that are looking so successful now, it's thousands of years, thousands of years. and re-scattering and re-gathering and re-scattering over and over till them all look different. It's approximate to us, the African people, looking even like Chinese in 500 years' time or 1,000 years' time. They did a time. program on the Chinese Jews and they did a program yes. on the Ethiopians. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, so, saying so, that the Ethiopians were 70% closer to... Original, the original Jews of course. Were called the, the Leng, well, Lemba, L-E-M-B-A. Yes. Right. So, but, but uh, so, sorry, as you were saying. No, we only have 30 seconds. I'm going to give it to you. Right. I, well, I, I don't have much more to say. It's just that um, we can't wait forever. Yeah, it's, you're right. And what the other thing that they do, they, the Jews have concentrated on economic organization. Definitely. And we have just started that. True. And it has taken them thousands of years till them start to become very successful in their last few hundred years of them economic strength. Yeah. So it, it, I don't expect it to take us a thousand years, but we must realize that um, it's not an overnight thing and it's not because of them superior to us. But thank you very much, yeah, ma'am? Yes, blessings, bless. One more call. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up, hello. Morning, Robin. Hi, ma'am. How are you doing? Just in time. I am good. This one, Robin. Um, this what, the, where's the, some female... Um, people are saying that female, you know, feel a little uncomfortable with some of your comments. Yes, I was, but you're just, just in time, otherwise nobody would have responded. Yes, ma'am. Well, I don't know about nobody. I can only speak for more, and I'm good with it. Yes. Yeah. Bring it on, Jerry. All right. So, I you don't think it's too, it's kind of inappropriate for young people to listen to? I, not for me, because we are not, like, in your face saying things. Yeah. So I don't know. Well, you know, p different strokes for different folks. But personally, as I say, I am good. But there's well, a point. There's a there, yeah. But there's a point um, beyond which we, we might not, we should not go. I, I really yes. not. Yeah, yeah. But I'm comfortable, you know, within my skin. Yeah. Yeah. African as I am. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Um, years ago in the 80s, you see, I, I went on a trip up to the Blue Mountains. Eh? Yes. Because I love the outdoors, can I tell you? Yeah, ma'am. And I, I don't see anybody else, see, you know, who had seen what I uh, I saw. Yeah. And for years I didn't want to say because it sounded like me crazy, yeah. I think. And get the crickets out, Jerry. Here's one. Yeah. Um. So I was saying it to my mother because I realized that she has a wealth of information. And I was saying, Mommy, I went up to Blue Mountain and I saw seashells. Yes, I saw them, yes. And my mother said, no, cricket need to come out. Yes, ma'am. Yes. I'll crab. Mr. Crab up in the and thousands of foot up in the hills. Thank you crab. very much. I am not crazy. I'll walk and in I the said, road. do you have any idea? Oh, she said, because all of this came from the sea. Yes, many times. It, the island has been under and above the sea more than one time. Thank you very much. I have to go now the water rising. Let's go. We are ready. Put on your bath suit. Put on your bath suit. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Thank you very much. Well, we just have a few text messages. We got, we're not going to be able to take any more calls. But um, thank you very much for today. Some text messages. Jews was a set of people who claimed they uphold with Moses' laws. We scattered people called by that nickname too. Next one. Jerry, I didn't know that Norman Manley back in 1955 had said that all beaches in Jamaica should be acceptable to Jamaica coming from Howard. Yeah, and, and, and he, yeah, I think he helped to organize the Beach Control Authority. Next one, long time listener, first time contacting. Why has Jamaicans will continue to be gullible? When are we going to take a stand saying enough is enough to these leaders? They are accountable to us because they are public sector workers. Next one, Jerry, why so many confused people call your program? I don't know, but um, I don't mind. I mean, because we're all talking. We're all talking to one another to help straighten out one another. So I don't, I don't mind. But thank you very much, Jerry. Yeah? Thank my producer also, Tanya Richards, and my production assistant, Monique Edwards, and our... Broadcast technician Rodian and Roy and Yuan Yain Stewart. Thank you very much. Straight up. Coming up in this newscast, further water restrictions expected as NWC wraps up emergency meeting. Electoral Commission proposes option of dual elections. Islands Trade Unions meeting to discuss possibility of signing wage agreement. And taxi driver on the run after hitting a 60 a six-year-old from a motorcycle. <laughs>